chat. Hey, chat, how are ya? Hi, chat, you hello. Hey, hello, chat. Hey, how are ya? Hello, everyone. Happy week start. Happy start of the week, chat. How are you doing it, chat, you? We're here for an adventure with Chaff You. Here for an adventure with Kiki. Kiki and Chaff You. <laughs> How you doing, Chaff? It's wonderful to see all of you. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, Chaff. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, being healthy, eating your vegetables and your fruits. It is important to have a diet diverse in fruits and vegetables, chat. <laughs> Why am I sitting so low? Give me a second here. <laughs> all right, that feels a bit better. Chat, it's wonderful to see all of you. A diverse streamer diet. My my diet is diverse. I get all the major food, uh, the major food color groups like uh, orange for sleeves of Pringles, blue for Cool Ranch. Doritos. Did you know that in most countries other than, uh, did you know that in most countries other than, in most areas other than North America, uh, they don't have Cool Ranch? It's called Cool American. That's the flavor. What is it? Cool American? <laughs> I remember seeing pictures of Cool Ranch flavored Doritos from other places and they're just called Cool American. Wrong? No, you're fucking wrong, Brenda. What do you mean? That's the truth. That's a thing. <laughs> How about just ranch? No, it's cool ranch. Cool American, dude. <laughs> There's no such thing as a cool American. Hey, as a North American, I take offense to that, all right? I even trimmed my beard for you, chat. Look at that, huh? No longer the homeless look that I had before. And this is the kind of disrespect I get. Hey, uh, your fork, thanks for the five months. If I stretch back far enough, I can twerk on my own face. Uh, ZK, thank you for the 34 months. How you doing? Ranch isn't a thing in Australia. Isn't that crazy, dude? Listen, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Ranch is overrated, okay? If you like ranch, fuck you a little bit. I'm, come on. It's not a great flavor. It's not a great flavor. You got so many better flavors out there like dill pickle, ketchup, you know? Just, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, Jay knows what's up. Chat, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Ranch? Not that great, dude. There are multiple other flavors that are much better, okay? Not the ketchup. Yeah, what do you mean? Ruined? <laughs> no. Dill pickle is good, though. Yeah, dude, them dill picklers. Let's go. Hey, Reesian, thanks for the 17 months. How are you? Hello. Cosmic Series, thank you for the 17 months resub for Kiki. Yes, bitch. Let's go. Habs fan says, really struggling today, but still want to stop by and say RCR is better than PPCLI. Hey, listen here. You listen here. Okay, I have one thing and one thing only to say to anyone who supports the RCR. Ah, Merry Christmas, chicken fucker. Um, bearded Barbarian, <laughs> thanks for the hundred bits. Your energy always makes me smile. I also know, I also now want an 80s sitcom intro to this song called Kiki and Chaffew. We should fucking make it. We should, I'll make them, I'll make a fucking intro called Kiki and Chat. The Adventures of Kiki and Chaffew. Oh my God, we even have our car chat. Everything's turning up beautifully. Okay. Everything seems quiet. Does this seem quiet to you, chat? The game seems quiet. Maybe it'll be louder. This is, vo the volume's cranked, bro. Okay, hold on. It's very quiet. Yeah, why is that? Hey, quit it. Quit it. Hmm, it's quiet, too quiet. Okay. If I go here, and then there, and then here, and then there. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's normal. It's just down compared to Milton. Okay. Well, listen, all right? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so deal with that. Uh, Pocket Gnome. Hey, Pocket Gnome. Thanks for the... Uh, 
Thank you for the 14 months. How you doing? Happy anniversary, Melty. Our 14 month anniversary. Oh my God, chat, Kit Katie just came in with five gifted subs. You fucking love to see it, Kit Katie. Thank you for the five gifted subscriptions. Chat, put some pogs and claps in chat right there. Right, I should have, I should have put my hair up. Now it's gonna be in my face all day. Is this how we're gonna do it? Is this how we're gonna do it today, hair? Is this how? I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. I'm just a kid and I know that it's not fair. <laughs> Chat, get your get that fucking emo Spider-Man out of my face. Okay? Okay, where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who would have thought that that guy would be at the forefront of the fucking UFO mystery, huh? Well, that might be giving him a bit too much credit. I don't necessarily know that he's at the forefront of the UFO mystery. He seems to think that the United States government in its capacity to pick anybody to be a spokesperson for the UFO mystery, thought, you know what? We could have like Michio Kaku, the uh, famous futurologist, or, uh, you know, <laughs> now nah, let's go with Tom DeLonge. He can do it. Our alien king, do not refer to Tom DeLonge as our alien king. I am your alien king, okay? I didn't come all the way here from Andromeda Galaxy to be usurped by Tom DeLong. I mean, not me. I mean, the aliens. God. Did I say I came from Andromeda? Whoops. Crazy. Tom DeLong. Oh. Butter S79. Whoa. Chad. Put the pogs and claps in chat for butter. I saw a video that I, I gotta, I have to pause this, the music chat to tell you that I saw a video that was so disturbing, so profoundly disturbing. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna really recover from it. It was a video and it was titled something like, imagine doing this uh, party trick. And what, who the fuck? How the fuck did someone, what? How, hello? What the fuck? Okay, Kiki, hurry up, finish, finish up here, Kiki. Okay. Thank you for calling Kiki's Organic Clothing. Unfortunately, due to a higher than average volume of calls, your call has been placed into a priority sequence and will be answered in the order it was. Moshi Moshi! Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, Moshi Moshi! How can I help you? This is my bell. Welcome to Kiki's Organic Clothing. Have you come sampled our new lineup of edible underwears? That's right. Only available in Kiki's Organic Clothing. Kiki has made a G-string out of Cheerios. You're only going to wear it once because it tends to dissolve. Hey, how can I direct your call? Oh, I, I was wanting to... Well, I, maybe... Shoot. Maybe HR? I don't uh, know. I just I just seen the CEO of Kiki, uh, Kiki's Organic Clothing on, uh, on the beach, and she looked like a fucking whale. She was huge. Uh, Let herself go back. Maybe I need to talk to PR. It's uh, terrible uh, PR. I beg your GD pardon. Nobody speaks about Miss Kiki. I'm going to put you through to HR right now. Please hold. Bring. Bring. Hello, this is head of HR Maybell. How can I direct your call? Hey, Bell, wait, what, I'm just talking to you? Uh, I'm, uh, this is, uh, Baby Bell. Uh, oh, 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 the line is breaking up. You're going to have to call back again. Just, Hello? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Ken. Oh, my God, I love Ken, dude. <laughs> that was 100% Cinnamon Toast Ken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hey nephew thanks for the 14 months how am i doing hey well now that i get to hang out with chat it's pretty fucking cool man listen it's summer aaron's upstairs i had leftover lasagna for uh, breakfast and i get to hang out with chat for a while i mean does it fucking get better than that does it literally get any better than that i don't think so I don't think so. I made lasagna on the weekend chat. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you my re I'm gonna tell you my recipe for lasagna. You let me know if you think it's kosher. No, that's not the right word. I don't even know what that necessarily means. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Here's. <laughs> okay. Lapagna. Yes, it is Lapagna. Okay. Here's the recipe for lasagna. Ground beef. Lean ground beef. Okay. An entire yellow onion. Get out your George Foreman grill. Turn it all the way up to max. No, you don't do that. Okay. An onion, four cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, pan. Cook it until it starts to get translucent. Add two pounds of lean ground beef. Allow it to start browning. Put your put your lasagna noodles in a in a uh, a, a, a pot. Bring to a boil for eight minutes. Um. Add two jars of your favorite spaghetti sauce to the meat, onion, garlic mix. Combine, allow to heat for a little while. Then in a dish, thin layer of ground beef, onion, garlic mix, a shitload of mozzarella, noodles, beef, mozzarella, noodles, beef, mozzarella, noodles, and then a thick layer of mozzarella on top. Slap that bitch in the oven at 350 for an hour and then let it get extra crispy on top. Ricotta cheese. Okay, ricotta cheese. Listen to me very closely, okay? Because this is the important part. If you even think about adding ricotta to your fucking lasagna chat, literally fuck you, okay? Ricotta tastes like you have ground up sidewalk chalk in a dish and considered it a fucking topping, okay? You're literally wrong. No, no, fuck you. No, listen, if you use ricotta cheese, it is literally like you are adding ground up sidewalk chalk into your dish and being like, mm, isn't this so nice? Boy, I sure do love sidewalk chalk. Dude, <laughs> no, you are objectively wrong. No, you are objectively wrong, sunny side up. Stream title should be beef mozzarella noodles. Slap that bitch. <laughs> Where's the white sauce? Ew, what are you talking about? Are you thinking of ricotta cheese? No, I'm thinking of, are, are you thinking of cottage cheese? No, I'm thinking of ricotta, dude. Not a fan of ricotta, so I feel you, Milton. Exactly. We agree to disagree. No, we agree that you are wrong. I am right. I am smart. You are dumb. I am big. You are small. I am strong. You are weak. That's what we agree to, okay? Doesn't even put pickles in his lasagna. <laughs> what? Okay. Olivia, thanks for the 39 months. It's been so long since I've been able to catch you for a live stream of chaos. Glad to see you in your very cute chat. Ooh, do not fucking ooh, okay? I have big hands, you have small hands. How dare you, dude? <laughs> Lasagna pickles, ew. Okay, we need some fucking food. We're gonna get some food and maybe... We're gonna get some food. Can you even go in there anymore? Oh, you can go in there. Oh, that's cool. What the fuck what? was that, man? What, the, what was what? You fucking fucked up my mic. Why? What, what, did I? Where is it? What? It's right here. He just ran over it. Oh, no, 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 no. That was, that was not, look at, how would that have happened? You explained to me how I could have possibly hit your look, bike. You, huh? can, you can literally huh? see the impact mark where it got squashed against the pole. Okay, well, you shouldn't park your bike on the sidewalk then, should you? It wasn't on the sidewalk, it was parked on the road. What, where was side. it parked on the road? Show me, where, sh stand where it was parked. Ah, you motherfucker! <laughs> that ought to show him, fucking tell me how to drive, will you piece of shit? <laughs> Okay, we're getting some food chat, all right? <laughs> Kiki woke up today and chose violence. Does she ever wake up and not choose violence? Huh? That's the real question. <laughs> Hashtag jail stream. Damn it! No, we're not going to jail. We're not going to jail and we're not ending up in the hospital today. Neither, you'll see. We're gonna be safe, sound. It's gonna be awesome. Suburban J, thank you for the 28 months. That's sort of like J reality, but more suburban. Suburban J. 28 freaking months, dude. Thanks for coming back. Yaks on fire. Thanks for the 34 months. Love you, Milty, in a non-parasocial way. 
Hey, thanks for the 34 months, Yax on fire. Yendar! Tier three for the ping 55. How you doing, Yen? Great to see you, man. I hope you get a chance to take a break from work sometime soon, dude. Unwind. Depending on the legality and your own personal preferences, maybe a bit of the old sucking some micro penises. No, that's not what that means, chat. Talking about, I'm talking about imbibing the marijuana. Okay, no, that's not what it is. Get the gawking out of here, dude. Get the gawks out of my face, okay? That's not, no, chat. I didn't mean in the gawking way. I'm talking about the marijuanas, okay? All right. Hey, Tardy, thanks for the tier two for 27 months. I guess I'm still here despite your trash takes on just about everything. What the fuck? Hey, Queen Testential, thanks for the 23 months. Uno mas para dos anos. Sheesh. Hold on. I bet I can translate this because I'm learning languages. Uno mas para dos. Una ma, uno mas para dos años. Does that mean one more month until two years? Did I just get that? Did I just fucking, did I just translate that shit on the fly? Is that what that means? Uno mas para dos años. One more until two years. Is that, huh? It means one mass filled anus. God damn, God damn it. Anus? Oh, it's anus. Uno mas para dos anus. Sheesh. Hey, Queen Testential, thanks for the 23 months. Make a wish, kid. Thank you for the 26 month resub. Uh, my wish is for milk. <laughs> okay, this is fucked. This, there's, tw okay. It's a 26 month resub from someone named Make a Wish Kid, and their resub message is My wish is for Milton to finish a game. Okay, you listen here, shit for brains, okay? I don't give a fuck if you're a Make a Wish Kid. I have finished so many games. I fin, no, no, I finished so many games. Chat, get the Kent W's out of here. I finish games all the time. What are you talking about? Remember Doomy Turtle? Who remembers Doomy Turtle? I remember Doomy Turtle. We beat that like twice. Okay, K Katie, thanks for the 39 months, my amigo. WC Papier, thank you for the three month resub. Doomy Turtle, remember Doomy Turtle? Wow, Milton, you're gonna deny a make a wish, kid? I ah, wah, 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 wah. 30 minute, 30 minute game? That fucking game was so hard, are you kidding me? Come on, chat. Bragging about a 30 minute game. <sighs> Hello, bitch. Oh my God, watch where you're walking. Uh, Kiki. Hello, bitch. How are you? Yeah, it's me, Velma. Velma, listen, I'm starving to death, Velma. Do you think you could get me a, like a, bur a burger and a drink like on the on the house? No. I'm then I'll do it myself. Hey, open up, motherfucker. We woo, we woo. I demand, as an alumni, I am an alumni, I demand to be fed for free. You understand me? Uh oh, Velma, you think you're you gonna, do? You think you're gonna deny me service? Oh, hey! No. I'm, a, I'm a goddamn Burger Shot veteran and I will be fed. Oh. You're getting close. No. Just a little no. bit further. Oh, I got her a little stuck. Just a little bit further. Want me to hold the doors? No, you don't. Ah. Velma, get away from the doors. I don't. I don't need you to. No, it's fine. Oh God. Oh. 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 Uh, this is an officer. This is not what it looks like. No, this is not what it looks like. I'm just trying to parallel park. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh. Okay. Hello, welcome to Burger Shot. Yo, I, I need food. Like, that car needs to move. I'm, I'm working no, on okay. it! There's, luckily, there's another door. Come uh, on, let's go around the side. Officer, thank you, can you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I need, I need assistance! Okay. All right, that's fine. No, I'll figure it out on my own. I, I prefer to, oh God, Chad is actually stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what, what the fuck? What? Whoa! What the, what the fuck? Fuck you, Kiki, you what? fucking. What? What the, what the you fuck? fucking asshole. What, what, the, Jesus. what the fuck are you dressed up like Indianapolis Jones for? My apologies. What the? My, my, my apologies. What are, you, what, are up, what are you dressed up like Indianapolis Jones for? Why do you look like a bumblebee? Uh, who the Indianapolis fuck are you? Jones? What, no. that? what the hell you did? What do you mean Indianapolis Jones? I didn't know Scientology Sea Org was doing a fundraiser today. What the hell? That's right! Oh my god, you just hit Velma, you motherfuckers! You just hit Velma on my wall!
package. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Velma, look out! I'm trying to save you. Again. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh my God! You see what you did? Oh Jesus! Oh God! Hey, I need a ride. I'll pay you a thousand dollars. Oh Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Oh God, Chad! What did you do? What did you do, Chad? I told you no! 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 Oh God! Oh my God! We're wanted for murder! Oh my God! We're wanted for murder! Oh my God, we've been awake for 15 minutes and we're wanted for murder! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, this is fine. This is fine. We're gonna have to go on to the witness protection program. We're... God damn it. Okay, uh, did you blam a cop? No, 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 it was self-defense, okay? <coughs> Oh, God. In our car. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. You, you see that fucking cop get annihilated? You, you, you're <laughs> next. You're next, you, motherfucker. You, you, oh, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. You want to fucking go? Yeah, yeah, you're you fucking, fucking next. Kill you're next. Will, you, uh, yeah, yeah, you're next, you, Bubbles. Uh, you're fucking yeah. next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Kai Turtle, thanks for the 28 freaking months. Subscribe to My Chemical Romance. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. <laughs> Mr. Niceberg, thanks for the tier freaking three for 34 months, dude. That's wild. Great to see you, Mr. Niceberg. Kiyopi, thanks for the 25 months. Did you see the Mars doorway that the rover discovered last month? Isn't it like three inches tall, though? Texas Sweet Tea, thanks for the 500 bits. Hope you're doing all right. Why was the baby cookie sad? Because its mom was a wafer too long. Despair. Chris the Impressive, thanks for the five gifted freaking subscriptions, dude. How you doing, Chris? Hey, 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 Chris. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Chat, put some fucking in chat for Chris the Impressive. What's going on down there? How's it looking, Chad? Is it looking okay? Do you think they're going to make it? Cal1992, thanks for the 20-month resub. I think our baby's old enough to smoke now. No, no, no. Germs B, thank you for the 38 months. Minge Waffle, thanks for gifting that sub to Warm, ran warm Rancid Mayonnaise Lube. Minge Waffle gifting a sub to Warm Rancid Mayonnaise Lube. Thanks for uh, that gifted sub. Cuppy Cake, thanks for the 20-month resub. Uh, Navat, thank you for the 26 months. Kiki, God damn it, stop standing up. Okay. Anya Flux, thanks for the five months. Vivaria, thank you for the 34, dude. Anya Flux, thanks for giving that sub to Milton's Wet Fart for 14 months. Oh my God. Honey, 26, thanks for the three months. Hello. Hey, I'm glad you appreciate those mobile alerts. I, I try to have a nice message each time I go live. If you're looking for a nice message chat, you can always turn on the follow alerts for the channel. I try to have a little... A little pick-me-up in the uh, going live notices. Blue Giant, thanks for the eight months, my friend. Uncle Face, 19 freaking months. Mall Watch Mando, thank you for the 38, dude. Brevity, thank you for the year and a half. Your hair is as glorious as your hands are massive. What the fuck does that... The hell does that mean? Okay, I thought I heard walking. We're fine. Um, Where did my car go? Chat, did anyone see where the fuck my car went? What the hell happened to the Betchmobile? Did somebody fucking take it up your ass? No, I would have felt it. 
Haley Blueberry, thanks for the six months. It's been a really long time since I've seen one of your live streams. I started a new job and I've been really busy, but I've finally got to revisit, but I always watch re I always watch your VODs. Love you, Milton and chat. Hey, thanks for the six months, Haley Blueberry. It drove off. No, it didn't. It didn't drive off. I am a very good caretaker. I'll show you. Okay, not great. Not great. Uh, Miss Krubear, thanks for the 12 months of support. How you doing, Miss Krubear? Hey, a year full of kiki squirts and bussy stretching. Ew, ew. Hog Josh, thank you for the tear freaking for 33 months, dude. Okay, I thought that, that was an NPC. I thought it was a player and I almost shit myself. Havergast, thanks for the 46 months. Dreamy, thank you for the 28 months. Hey, it wouldn't be Kiki Chanel stream without multiple felonies in the first 15 minutes. Yeah, true enough. We're just being consistent, okay? All right. Perennial Void. Hey, Perennial Void, thanks for the 15 months. Hey, Multi, can you... Can you make me a poop knife? I'm not making you a poop knife, okay? Paul Weezy, thanks for the 29 months, dude. How you doing? Magnolia, thanks for the nine months. We just had a BB. Cook and Rook, thank you for the 35. Fuzzball, 100 bits. Good news, I started a new job on the 4th of July. Never done tech support. It's gonna be interesting. Hey, best of luck, my friend. I hope it's a rewarding job for you. Pays the bills and allows you to do what you wanna do in your off time. Uh, Strami, thanks for the eight months, Strami. I stand with Milton against the insensitivities by major phone companies who keep designing phones that are unusable by tiny-handed people. What the f- and, and my sympathies go out to you, all those darn condom manufacturers making condoms way too big for people with little baby dicks. <laughs> Boom, get fucking dabbed on. Get fucking dabbed on. Get dabbed on. Get dabbed on, dude. <laughs> Oh, stop it, chat. Stop it. Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Kiki Chanel. My stretch Hummer limo seems to have been taken by someone. Okay, hold on. This is not, this is not doing what it should do. Hold on. We're gonna do it. We're gonna readjust this a little bit here. Bloop, bloop. Why is it all friggity fucked up, chat? Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. My stretch Hummer Luma seems to have taken someone. I am only worried that it may have been used in the commission of a crime. God forbid, maybe even the injuring of one of our brave city's law enforcement officers who would like to report it stolen. <laughs> Last, the stretch Hummer should be easy to spot. It is a uh, delightful tasteful, classy pink with black zebra stripes. They're actually tiger stripes. And I just want it back in one piece. Neryl Johnson, he said you have such big arms and little hands. What the fuck? I just want my car back in one piece. And if it was used to kill an officer, it wasn't me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo. If they, killed a, if they killed the officer with that car, bro, like, fuck that boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying, what? too. What? Here, you fat cow, eat what? this. God, I'm God. starving, what Jesus the Christ. Fuck? What the fuck? Thanks. I beg your, I beg your fucking pardon? Excuse? You I think can, you, you're sweating you haven't eaten like five minutes. What the fuck? I, I told you I'm on a low sodium diet. This is all so high calorie. I can't, there's no way I can put. <laughs> Why was there why were there curly hairs in that hamburger? Why were well, there curly? Yeah, you you watch Buck Special. It's Buck Special, you know. I, I, I put the buns 
Okay. The underwears. No, God, God, there's not yeah. much room down there for hamburger. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, right? You, you seem to it have to be some, white. <laughs> are those open wounds around your groinal area, Buck? Are those open? Are, oh, Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Also, there's a shooting at hey, Burger Shot. We gotta take this underwear off. I'll let you get a good look. Also, there's a there's a shooting going on at Burger Shot currently. So, I just, oh, um, I thought maybe you should go. And there's a, what the fuck is going on? Um, Jesus, what? <laughs> hey, you can't say that. <laughs> Feeble Let's Play. Thanks for the 300 bits. Babies born feet first temporarily wore their moms as a hat. Ew. Oh my God. What the fuck is going on over there? Are those NPCs? I don't even know anymore. Okay. We're going to have a little drinky poo here. Oh no. Oh no. How do I open? Are my, are my owns okay? Fuck? Look, Jesus you're the only person that's ever noticed him. I need you to check him. Oh my God. Please. Jesus Christ. Buck. Oh my god! Put your fucking clothes on! What the hell's wrong with you? What Buck. do you mean? Oh my god! <laughs> Buck! What the fuck? It was, ew! What the fuck? Uh, what? Buck! Jesus! What the hell? It looks like you're trying to smuggle well, you've, never, a, you've never seen a real man before, do uh, that? It looks like you're trying to smuggle a single baby carrot around. What the fuck? Jesus! Fuck! Oh my God! What is wrong? Okay. What? <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my God! Buck, would you go over there and intervene in this shooting, please? You might be the only yeah, one. Yeah, you're right. I, I better stop this. Yeah. I gotta break this up. You're the only one who can. <laughs> Don't worry, Chad. It's not a TOS problem because it's not the focus of the game. The game is not about naked, crazy men named Buck, so we should technically be okay. <laughs> okay oh my god that's the focus of this game no it's not the focus of this game you f you just finally got that damn it it is for me no damn it chat realistic non conan dong thank you why are you saying thank you for that finally a reason to watch gta ew chat your reason to watch gta is not buck's weird little flaccid penis okay <laughs> let me see the duck no I when he said he was taking off his fucking underwear there i thought there was no way i thought there was no way and it's literally exactly what he described dude oh my god <laughs> ain't nothing little about that i mean hey it's it's uh, it's 20 times what i've got packing jesus holy shit hello mr delicious uh, hi kiki how are you uh you know it's it's been uh it's been a bit of a tumultuous uh been a bit of, of a tumultuous lunch hour mr delicious how are you <laughs> i'm not i'm not, not under duress or anything i just happened to be at the store and everything everything's fine uh, okay uh do, do, do you need anything oh where, god where, where? god damn it mr delicious listen i okay just tell tell the man you didn't know that you weren't allowed to look through the magazines okay pull Pull your pants up again and just leave the store in a calm and orderly fashion okay uh, uh, when he's telling you uh, to put uh, your clothes uh, back on he's not asking uh, you to remove more layers uh, just put your the, pants the, back on okay the, the the man is telling you to come to the store right now the man is telling me to come to the store right now okay well listen all right no one tells me to come now okay oh, oh i will i will oh, come oh, 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 i will I, come where oh, and whenever God, i want I what what where are mr delicious where are you which store which mr delicious which store I think he's probably fine. <laughs> Haley Blueberry, thanks for gifting that sub to Gloom Panda. Chris the Impressive, thanks for gifting that sub to Tiny Hands Are Cool for two months. What the f What the fuck? Velma! Oh, hello, Velma. How are you? Velma. Oh, hi, yeah. Uh, I, I said hi, Velma. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, it's me, Velma. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah hello. Yes, Vel we've established Velma. Hello. How can I help you? Yeah, oh, I have your car because uh, oh. I noticed that you uh, ran away and uh, 
Oh, uh, hopefully you're all right. I almost died. Oh. Because uh, apparently people are hunting you. Did you know that? Uh, wait, what? Uh, wait, hold on. What? Yeah. Run that one by me again. Yeah, so uh, I definitely saw Kratos, and I don't know why. Oh. Kratos just likes uh -oh. to, to get up on people. Yeah. He likes to ram them. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. So um, I don't know if he's after you or he just likes the car. And then, uh, and then I heard uh, those guys, remember those guys in the parking lot of the burger shot? I heard those uh, guys. Uh, mm, uh, oh, uh, you mean, oh boy. Uh, um, okay. Hey, where, 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 where are you still in my car? Yeah, I'm putting gas in it right now. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on the south side. Okay. Uh, oh. You, I don't know if you should come down here. I nearly so, died. Oh boy. Uh, well, I've got friends. I've got friends on the south side. I'm, yeah. a, I'm, I'm really, really popular. Um, where, where you're like, um, a uh, tool shop. At the tool shop. Okay, sure. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head that direction. If you leave, just call me back. Okay, I'm, I'm on foot, so I'm, and I'm wearing heels, so. You, <laughs> you want know. me to just pick you up? Uh, well, or? yeah. Well, I mean, sure. That would be great. Um, well, I'll ping you. What's your number? Uh, one four nine five. One four nine five. Okay, I'll, I'll ping you, Velma. Okay. 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 All right. Love you. <laughs> Hold on, Chad. Give me a second here. What is the universe? Universe sim. Manage your planets as you guide the civilizations through the ages. They just followed me. Uh, oh, cool. Hmm, universe sim. Has anyone played that before? I might have to check it out sometime. Um, Esco Bob, thanks for the uh, two years, dude. Doing this on my phone was a fucking pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Melty and his little beepus. What? Excuse me. Okay. Ping. One, four, nine, five. Send ping. Okay, chat, just act very inconspicuous, okay? Fuck. Damn business is being locked and shit. It's because I tagged you in it on Twitter? Oh, you sneaky snake. Okay. All right, we're just an average citizen sitting on the side of the road. Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. Watch for this. Watch her from the sky. Thanks for the three BBs. I'm back from a dark place. So happy to come back watching your streams. Hey, Watcher, I'm really happy to have you back. I hope that your dark place lightens up, okay? Um, it's a hard time out there right now. It's, uh, it's weird. Uh, it's, it, oh. It's, it starts to feel more and more bizarre as time goes on. Um, anyways, I, uh, I hope you're doing better now. Canada's daddy, thanks for the 35 months, almost three years, and now I've seen Buck naked. Yep, absolutely true. Ethereal, thanks for the three years, dude. Anime chick, thanks for the 37 months. Rogron, thank you for the 15 months. Bussy, bussy, bussy. Chronolith, thanks for the 20 months of support. Okay. <laughs> Neural Johnson missed Buck, I guess. Melton, do this IRL. <laughs> nice. <laughs> fucking stupid fucking. That's a gopher. Ah, oh my God, it's Velma. No, Velma, I'm right here. No, God damn it. Why did I show that picture? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Velma, 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 oh, Jesus, Velma, what the, f what the fuck was that? Jesus, I didn't see it. Velma, God damn it! That, Why thank, you far back? Th yeah, th thank you, Velma. Hold, I gotta hold on. I gotta, okay, I'm gonna. I, I could, I can't. I knew it smelled like rats in here. <laughs> Oh my God, what the fuck was that? I was just attacked by some sort of rabid coyote. Kill it. Oh, never mind. It's Ricardo. Bitch. Ricardo. Oh um, my God, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Uh, and you're still, I'm, wearing, still wearing that yee yee ass scarf, huh? That's, <laughs> jeez. Read me <laughs> hey, alone, okay? Dude. I'm out of drag today. Well, yeah, my balls are itchy. It's fine. 1994 called. They want their asses washed jeans back. 
Okay, bitch, you have torn down slits. Oh, uh, okay, bitch. What the hell? Excuse me. These are, desi these are designers. These are designers, okay? Yeah, these are design 2017 Call Me Christos, okay? No, designed yeah. by the Vietnamese, huh? Well, I beg your fucking pardon. I beg your Look fucking... Okay, bitch, where where Look was factory. your where was your outfit designed? The head trauma ward of the children's hospital? No. <laughs> yeah. It was baby goth. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> underwear? What are you doing here? What are you doing at a dive like Maldini? I was just getting some pizza and I saw this big ass truck drive by. I may or may not have used it to run over a motorcycle that exploded next to a police officer and injured him very badly. I think I'm wanted in a number a of counties. I, I, I probably do. I probably do. I'm actually going to take this uh, down to the police station and just try to smooth things over. You know, what did Kiki, oh God. What did, what did Kiki say to the chief of police when they were discussing her warrant? Oh my God! What? You're giving it that double-handed, triple squid, vacuum seal, <laughs> gawk gawk five thousand. Oh. Do not recommend. Why, Velma? Why not? Why? It's the vacuum seal that gets It's the them. vacuum seal. That's how you do it with the auto collecting steam dispenser. What? <laughs> what? What is it, Velma? Why? Why don't you recommend it? Can you come to you? You not a yeah, sweet I, talk? Uh, yeah, I'm just better, I think, at uh, you know talking until people's ears bleed. And uh, eventually, I just get what I want. Oh shit, that's not a bad idea. You know idea. what? That's, that's she's right. That's a fuck. That's not a bad idea. I'm, I know. She's I know right. what I'm gonna do. All all I really need to do is just make myself very emotional, and then I'm sure to get what I want. So I'm just gonna have to work myself up into a frenzy. <sighs> Has that ever worked for you, Kiki? No, not a single time. Mm. In fact, it no <laughs> usually makes things much worse. <laughs> if so I was why gonna... don't we try a different approach? Okay, what's the other approach? money under the table mm. hey i will give you <laughs> you don't have any will, money bitch. Shut up, bitch i'll say i will give you 75 dollars if you forget the fact that you need a skin graft on 80 percent of your body <laughs> wouldn't that come on <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> God, I didn't Sorry. <laughs> it was too tempting <laughs> damn there goes the bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh hey! Oh hey! All right, hold on. Maybe I'll help her out. Hold on. <laughs> Kiki Chanel, wake the fuck up, or I'm gonna show everybody the picture that you're a fat pig. That's it. <laughs> Time to show her. Time to show the picture. <laughs> All right, where's the? Yup, there it is. Look at her. What the hell are you doing? Oh. Hey! <laughs> yep. I, I got this. I got this. Look at her. She doesn't even eat Maldini. She's over there eating burger shot fries. What the? Get the fuck up, Kiki! Oh! Get her ass! Don't, don't, no, don't kill her! Don't kill her! Please don't kill her! Kiki, we fuck all the time, and you eat burger shit? Don't no worry, let me clean some of the Kenny Rogers, oh. I'll kiss you right on the mouth. What the fuck? What the? Oh. Oh, you wait, where the fuck you grew up? Damn it! What? What, what the fuck? Come from hell? What the? Oh, 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 hey. No balls, uh. hey, sweetie, how are you? Uh, how hey, did what the what? fuck is how this shit? The, no, no, no. How did this get in my? How did this get into my pockets? I don't get this shit. <gasps> get that out of my pockets. What well, I don't know what. Fuck? I don't know what that is. Someone put it in there when I was knocked out. Mm, okay, I would really? never. You're gonna fucking no, issues here, Kiki. I, that's not. That's not what you think it is. I actually came here to talk about potentially, you know, mm. helping out with maybe security. What is that picture? You're eating work? fucking what? French fries. No, no, that's not what you think, Ricardo. You want to? <laughs> it's not what you think it is. Kiki, I can we are not fucking anymore. That's it. No, I'm done with what? you. What? You can't. You can't. Well, honey dick there me. goes your dick. You can't honey dick me. <gasps> oh my god, no, Ricardo! No! no. <laughs> oh, come on! You're That's fucking, what you get for talking shit dead. about Maldini. You see what you just did? This is wow. years, years of lore with Vinny that you have fucking destroyed in a moment of greed and, and blind I know. Oh my, my god. My power, right? <sighs> You're fucking you look dead. fabulous as always. You're, oh, thank you. Oh my god. Is that hey. Maggie? Is that you? Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, wow, is this a new uniform? That's my Bitch, uniform. Bitch, you look yeah. furious. Listen, yeah. speaking of big hammers, what am I supposed to do without hey, his Yuki. anymore? Hi. Okay, wait, who is that? Uh, who is this in the hat? In the Mickey Mouse crazy That's fucking That's Dr. Tea. Seuss hat. T? Maggie, Hello. do me a favor. What? Uh-huh. Let me know, Maggie, if he says okay. Cause... 
I think uh, he's uh, down. I think he's down for the drama. That's what drama. I'm saying. Like, it's funny as yeah, shit. Yeah, we're gonna be sipping tea soon. You're, oh, tea? Oh, dish, girl. What? What's happening? I got Tell married. me. Married? No, you're not. What? To who? You got fried? Okay. Got married. Can I? Oh. You got married or you're getting married? Oh, got married. No, no, you, you have to. No, you're gonna have to get remarried because I didn't sing at your coronation and I need to. <laughs> Kiki, hold the singing voice because I'm no. getting married this week. Hold on. <laughs> me, 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 me. Oh no. Da, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> Ave Marie. <laughs> you motherfucker! You are so now. What the fuck? I'm gonna get even with you, Rico. Your fucking days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stop shooting! <laughs> Lego Isu, thanks for the 10 bucks, by the way. Finally getting settled after moving out of the state after 29 years. Been super happy and look forward to the Milty streams all the time. Shout out to the cum gang, Nodders. No, do not Nodders in chat. There's no such thing as the cum gang. And putting a Nodders in chat does not make you a member of the cum gang. Okay, chat? I don't want to... Oh, oh, dear. Oh, no. This is a bad time for... Me. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna refuel and then we're gonna come back and get bandages, okay? So we don't get arrested. Nan, nanny, boo, boo, can't catch me. You can't arrest me, you're a smelly cop. Oh, that's dangerous. Chat. Don't drive your cars like that. <laughs> Don't you just love the satisfying crunch of hearing someone go under your rear wheels? Okay. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Chat, she should have she should have been looking both ways before she crossed the intersection, all right? Whose fault is that, really? All right. Engine off. Mask off. Anytime I ever hear someone say mask off, I think they're referencing Avatar. Remember when the guy's there and he's like, ah, remember? Okay, so how do we fuel up again? Um, is it F1? Oh, shit. Jake Sully. Oh. Okay, we're fine. How do you, uh, I thought it was mask on. It is mask on. So I thought everyone was just quoting that. J to fuel up. J. 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 J, 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 J. I don't know if my J key is working. Can people test if their J key is working, please? J, is your J key working? Chat, J, 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 J. Nah, J is not working. Might just be my J key. My J key doesn't look like it's working right now. How the fuck do I fuel up? Hey, hey. Oh, damn, the Jericho shit. Oh, fuck, dude, fuck. <laughs> How do I, how do, <laughs> okay, how do I, chat, how do, okay, hold on. First, we're gonna add Buck, add Buck Colton New. Okay. Um. All right. Are you going out to see the new? Are you going to see the new Avatar? Yeah, probably. Hi, Kiki. Hey, Mr. Delicious, how are you? Uh, I'm, first, I, I, I'm. First of all, I'm, no. Listen, shut up. First of all, I don't want you to answer the question about how you are, okay? Because I'm going to tell you how you are. How you okay. are is receiving your first administrative warning, okay? As an oh. employee of Kiki's Organic Clothing, if you ever, oh. if you ever hang up on me again, in the middle of a call, if you ever hang up on me again, all right? I want you to know what's going to happen. All right. You're gonna get you're, no. Listen, shut up. You're gonna get a verbal warning. Oh no! Yep. You know what happens after you get three verbal warnings, Mister D? I hope it's not a written warning. It's a written warning. You know what God happens? If, you know what happens after you get three written warnings? Oh no! It's an administrative warning. Oh no! You know what happens after you get three administrative warnings? 
Oh God, I hope it's not a meeting with HR. No, 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 that's, that's a few, it's a disciplinary note. You know oh, what happens after you get note. three disciplinary notes? Oh, no, no, ma'am. You get a reprimand. You know what happens oh. after you get three reprimands? No. You get a stern talking to. You know what happens after you get three stern talkings to? Oh no. You have a meeting with HR. Oh no. And you know oh, what happens? HR. Yep. You know what happens if you have three meetings with HR? Three. Oh, no. you're, you're forced to take an afternoon off without pay. No. Yeah, no. is that what you want, Mr. D? Huh? Is that what you want people to think of our business? Huh? No, no, is that, ma'am. Is that what you want people to think of our business, Mr. Delicious? No, ma'am. I'm so I sorry. I didn't fucking think so, okay? Now listen, how do I how do I feel? How do I feel about my how do I feel about my car? Oh, uh well, what you'll do is uh, you'll grab you'll grab the hose okay. Gra and Ooh, then firmly. you'll um Grabbing you'll go Mm -hmm. okay. And then you'll walk up to the vehicle uh -huh. and you'll and you'll say refuel it. Wow. Then, it, it, but then it will a, it will ask how would you like to pay with cash or with your bank? Okay. Um, you will put in your if you're paying with the bank, you'll put in your state ID. Uh -huh. Then once it's paid for, then you can refuel it. You'll notice that the the tank is unlocked and that you can refuel your, how your much, vehicle. How much? How much would it be roughly to fill a stretch Hummer from zero to full? Uh, $900 on up. What the f- You're fearful of shit. I, I cross my heart and, and hope not to die. What? Uh, how the f how what am the I supposed to afford that? Oh. Um, $900? How the fuck am I supposed to afford that? Um, hmm. I mean, I could come, I could come scoop you up and no, maybe we no, can make no, some money. No, 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 no. Do you know if- the city has allowed us to start generating income from keys or getting clothing. So I will have you know that I am behind the counter at Cock right now, uh -huh. and I've been trying to get in touch with uh, Mr. Watson okay. uh, to see where we are as far as that is concerned. God damn it. Do you know if he's in the city today? Um, I I think so. Um, so, so if you want to try giving, giving him a call, maybe he may be, oh, yeah. maybe he'd be willing to pick oh, up yeah. your phone I know call. I know a trick or two. Mr. Dean and I go way back. He likes this one thing that I do where I get miniature, Ooh. miniature butterfingers. And what you do is oh. you, I slide one or two of them up the Hershey highway as he's oh. laying there with cucumber slices on his eyes. And I just let them sit there for a little bit until they get a little bit melty. And then he just pushes them out one by one. It's really, God, it's kind of hot. Getting kind of oh. hot and bothered thinking about it right now. Um, oh. So, okay, well, I'll give him a jangalang and uh, I'll be by to check on the store in a little bit. Are there gas stations that no longer service me? Because I'm at a gas station right now and I cannot remove this gas pump. Um, you'll notice on your GPS uh -huh. that there are gas stations denoted with a gas tank. Those are the ones in operation. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, shit, Mr. Delicious. I expect you to write a, a note, a note, a, a disapproving note to the city that there are not enough gas stations, okay? This is America, and if I want to pay $900 for a tank of gas, I should be able to do it wherever I want, okay? Well, I want, I want you to know that I'm saving my money so that I can buy you a gas pump. Uh, you know, really? And, uh, yeah, an oil Wait. rig. They're two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> and you can you can get your what? own gas. Wait, like uh -huh. at, at cock? You mean? Oh, it'll be in the hills, but oh. it will be an oil rig for what? you to generate your own gas. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Cross my minion-looking head and hope to die. I have never heard something more American than needing to save up a quarter million dollars to buy a fucking oil rig in the hills just to be able to power my stretch fucking limo. That you know, uh, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you quiver. You ready? Oh, Kiki mm -hmm. Chanel Oil Baron. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Think about that. We'll get you a monocle. Oh, oh God. Or, or, I'm just trying oh. to get this handle off of here. Okay, it's um, really in there. But think about it. You in a top hat, maybe a handlebar mustache and a monocle. Wait, what the fuck? Why would I have a fucking handlebar mustache? Mr. Oh, because you'll be an oil bear. No, okay, okay, so we're going to have to have this lesson again. So not that it doesn't happen, but but normal or, or the vast majority of the time, as far as I know, most of the ladies that I've met not interested in the handlebar mustaches personally. Not all oh. of them, but just the, just the majority. So maybe when you're coming up with fun ideas, maybe don't lead with the handlebar mustache uh, part, okay. you know? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, 
dang it. I because th- it's kind of like a ponytail for your lip. Yeah. What? Hmm. Boy, uh, have you ever been able to grow any kind of? Are you always been naturally al al alope- oh, alopectic? Hey, it's it's funny that you say that. I actually do have a fine layer of hair, but it's kind of like a peach. Like you have to get really close up to me to see it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end that call right there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> hey, ah, holy fucking shit! Jesus Christ! Uh, oh my god! Are you okay? Jesus! Uh, you can't sneak up on a lady like that! What the hell? Oh my uh, god! Are you okay, sir? Sir? Are you okay? Uh, Jesus Christ! How long have you been uh, there for? What the fuck, sir? Oh god! Uh, oh no! Sir? Oh Jesus, uh, sir! Are you a veteran? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um! Oh no! Oh god! Um! Uh, oh Jesus! Oh, hey! I, uh, it's great to see you, sir. Thank you for your service. I got I got all places to be. Oh God! Oh God! Oh Jesus! I can't believe I just kicked a veteran out of his wheelchair. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> we don't have the fuel. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Talk. Talk about Kiki, power tripping. What? Kiki, yeah. is that you? Yeah, yes, yes, it's Kiki. <laughs> this is triple five. Uh, is Kiki driving oh, the damn car? I mean, no, it's not. It's, uh, hi. Oh, hi, Ricardo. Would you like to get pumped? It's Ricardo. It's Ricardo. Yeah, give me a second here, please. Oh, God damn it. No, you Driver, know, engine you know. off. Oh, God damn it. Engine yeah. off, door uh, uh, off also. Okay. What? Okay, the door, <laughs> no. The door's not off, okay? Right. It's Kiki, just... give me, let me see your damn driver's license. <sighs> okay, well, listen about that, okay? Mm-hmm. I had my driver's license in my hand when this crazy uh-huh. veteran uh-huh. up by my old mm-hmm. store, he took it mm-hmm. at, at a previous mm-hmm. gas station, mm-hmm. and yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. And he like took my mm-hmm. license mm-hmm. and then he Your took license. my door okay. and when he took the yeah. door, okay. my license fell out of the door, mm-hmm. yeah, and, I, the door. I, and then I mm-hmm. drove away yeah. to save my life. Drove away to I could have died okay. if, yeah. if I died. didn't drive yeah. away uh, right there. Okay. And, mm-hmm. and so I was lucky to get uh-huh. away with my life. <clears throat> How'd you get your car back, Kiki? Um, um. I, um, it was. You need a second to no, really no. like make this good. No, I'm just so upset from ha. Huh? Uh-huh. It was so scary, okay. and I just yeah. was terrified, and so uh-huh. it's just taking me a while to remember. So what mm-hmm. happened was, mm-hmm. I was on my way to drop you off. Getting emotional my... right now, Kiki? No, 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 I'm not. Are you getting emotional? Because I thought you were I, a bad bitch. I was, you're being kind um, of a crybaby no, right I'm now. No, I'm not being a crybaby. I was yeah, a little on, bit. No, I can I can no. smell the salty tears. I, was I can smell on, it. No, I was on my way okay, to give a million dollars to charity. Let's 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 do some deep breathing. Breath together, okay? Let's do some deep breath. Ready, ready? Just breathe like me. Ready? In. Out. In. Out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, sounds more like a banshee wail, but I'll take it. Okay, okay listen, perfect. I was okay. on my way to give a million dollars to charity. Okay, and yeah. And I had a, a gaggle of orphans in the back seat that I was getting ice cream for. Gaggle and orphans. And, okay. and as I was about to go and open a soup kitchen, I was attacked uh-huh. by a veteran who said that he hated single mothers. And um, Single mothers. 
And so I was like, what, what, what? And oh. Hey, why did you rob Burger Shot and fuck? shoot me? Why? Hey, hey Kratos, no, Kratos, can you handle this after I give her a ticket, man? Yeah, listen, why did you shoot hey, me, Kiki? Listen here, Value Kratos. Village, Mr. Clean. Why don't you get back in your shit box and let the grown-ups right. talk? Huh? Kiki, yes. all right, Kiki, yeah. I need you to shut up for a second. Oh, okay, my God. Kratos, could you oh just God. let me take care of this? Then you can deal with yes. this after, all right? Take control, yeah. officer. Good. <laughs> all right, okay. Oh. All right, Kiki, go ahead and hop out of the car for me, okay? Well, I, listen, I would love to do that. It's just that I'm in such a rush. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like I've got places to be, and I just, it's, it's a busy Kiki, time. if you start at the car, I'm going to tease you out of it, okay? No, you're not. You can't do that. I know, I, my, can. I know my rights. I know my yeah. rights. You, you, can't, you according, can't drive away with no license, No, okay, Kiki? according to the Charter I will of the People's me. Freedom of Kiki? Rights and Flight. I will escort you uh -huh. to the courthouse to get your new license, No, okay? no, I, I can't. Take you personally it's not. There. I, I don't have one. I don't actually have a license because mm -hmm. I am a sovereign citizen, and I actually don't identify as being... Uh, hey, it's been a while since you've been around, but you know that's terrorism now? What do you mean it's terrorism? Being a sovereign citizen is How terrorism. How is that terrorism? I don't know. It's How in the, it's is in the, it's it terrorism law. to I don't be know. sovereign? Hey, listen, there was a big sovereign? war up north. Don't you no. believe in sovereignty? Or do you believe no. in a dictatorship, huh? I'm more, I'm more of a sourpuss than a dictator, if you ask me. Arrest this terrorist. What? What? Hey! All right, Kiki. Okay, all don't right. hop out for me, okay? okay I'm, I'm not just, gonna arrest you. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a ticket for, okay. for speeding. I'm just gonna, and then you're, okay, we're I'm just gonna, gonna, I'm just Kiki? gonna, I'll listen. Kiki, I'm not, I swear to God, I will tase you out of this car. I'm just parking it. Can I just park? Nope, leave it right there. Uh, no, nope, absolutely gonna, not. Turn the engine I'm off. Just, last warning. Uh, three. Uh, what? What do you two, mean, last warning? Get out of the vehicle now. Out of the vehicle, Kiki. You wouldn't dare do it to a federal. Go for cuffs. That was triple five. I've detained one. Uh, Kiki Chanel. What the uh, fuck? Trying to drive away with uh, I was no not. License. I said I was parking it. It's dangerous to leave it right here. I'm holding up traffic behind me. Get off that car! Yeah, that's hey, okay. arrest him. This is vandalism of property. I want to press charges. I want All him right, to go Kiki. to jail. I want him to be in court. I want a judge and a lawyer. I want two lawyers and two judges. And then we'll see who's tough. Hey, hey. Who the who the hell is this? Oh my God! Oh my God! I, don't know. I'm being I know she attacked. didn't try to tackle me badly yeah. though. You see that? You see? And you're arresting me, a single mother, when you're being... Oh, you see? Look at that! You were literally I think she just tripped. You were literally. Yeah, I think she just tripped. What? <laughs> yeah, she she you looks playful. She I think she just tripped. Oh my God! You think she fucking tripped? She... All right, Kiki, you have the right to remain silent. Anything no. you say can or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you don't have no. attorney, one will be provided to you no. if available. Do you understand these rights? If I no, read them to you, no, I don't. You need to read them happier Little and with your mouth more open. Okay, all right. <clears throat> <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used oh. against you in the court of law. Oh my God. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, <laughs> one will be provided. If you Ooh. available, oh. you understand these rights oh are not right for I, you. I have never understood my rights better than I have in this moment. Oh, yes. yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's get it off. <laughs> All right. Keep singing, Uncle Oh, my God. Hey, would you be willing to call uh, PD Toe and see if they can get this What, did you say lock Kiki up? Oh, no, I said cuff Kiki. Oh, no. Because you're a bad bitch. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. put a ring on it. Oh, if you like it, then you should put a cuff on it. Ring on it. Oh. We were on two different wavelengths. Never mind. What if God was one of us? Technically, I could Just a cop like one of us. Yeah, Kiki. Oh. Just a knob like one of us <laughs> trying Woo! to make his way home. Hey, officers, like Kiki got back. an amazing voice. Over Come on, true. you gotta, I mean, you gotta wrong, have a duet. No. You gotta have a duet, officer. You gotta do something here. I can show you the world, Woo! shining, slithering, my lady slug. Just let oh, me okay. drag it across your hairy chest and on your face. Don't open my trunk. Instead, open oh, my God. shirt and pants. <laughs> Get back here. We can sort this I out. Just woman like to man. A yeah, whole right new now. world. This is your part, officer. Okay, I'll take it. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no. Yeah, or where to go. Or say yeah, we're only dreaming. 
Yeah, Kiki. Kiki. You, a whole new world. world. Don't you dare close your eyes. Ah, <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> Cookie, you gotta keep singing. Uh, I'm Look at him. He's just <laughs> go, rummaging through my car. Uh, Hey, Kiki, you need any medical Beautiful. attention for them taser prongs? No, uh, you can take them out yourself later on. All right. All right. Well, we'll hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to sanitize my hands first, okay? Oh, yeah. I want them to be dirty. Oh, God. Inf oh, okay. I feel infect like we're, me, baby. Come on, Cookie. Fuck I think yeah. we're interrupting um, oh, some, my gosh. Oh, give some me your gangrene. egg roll platter. Uh, give me your gangrene, gangrene daddy. You look great, ladies. Oh, thank Oh, you're just, <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, you're not you. You look okay. You look okay. Oh, thanks. It's the uniform. You know, it's not really. If I, I get it tailored, but they said I couldn't. Uh, really? What the heck? Yeah, I'm a, I don't I'm a know. fashionista. I could whip I that into shape, no problem. Oh, really? We should do something when I'm off duty. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see where you're going with this. Okay. You know, it's a totally, uh, you know, uh, you know, just me and yes, you. Yes, platonic. Maybe, maybe we grab a little. I get real hungry with clothes. Maybe we grab food. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. And I get kind of tired. Eat, do you so. eat? Because I eat. I, I, I eat sometimes. But not a lot, though. Yeah. Like a salad. Mm -hmm. Like a small salad. I'd have like a, like a chicken salad, you know? Mm -hmm. you know so. so anyways, I think we've all learned our... Le Wait, what the fuck is that? What is that? Hey! You just, hey! just bang your car. Hey! If you tow that fucking car, I'm going to cut your fucking head off where you sleep, you piece of shit. You understand me? If you touch that Fucking limo! I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. I think I, this is a rap song she's working on. No, I will. I, this is a direct threat of bodily harm. I will remove your head. I will find out where you sleep. I will kill you. I'll kill your family. I'll cut their heads off. What are you? Hey, stop! Yeah, Kiki. That, no, no, not yeah, Kiki. Go fight him. Stop him from towing my car. Hey. No, no. I will. See? I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah, take ten threats. snips to your balls. I'm gonna bring a mm. bomb to the hospital. Allegedly. I'm gonna, allegedly. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna allegedly. set fire to city hall. I'm gonna find. The, allegedly. I'm gonna find There's the chief no of justice. I'm gonna find the it's chief of justice, and I'm gonna turn him into mulch. Yeah, that's. On a new <sighs> God, uh, this is ridiculous. Kiki, I didn't look, even do anything. I've heard amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing things about you, okay? Oh. I'm a big fan. Oh I used God. to look like you, and then I had a plastic surgery because everyone thought I was what you. The so what the fuck? Yeah. What the? Therefore, Wait, you looked as beautiful as Kiki, and you changed it. What was wrong? You, what does that well, mean? Because everyone, huh? everyone thought I was, I was impersonating her. Like I was trying to take her identity. Oh my I, God! I like, you know? What? Listen. Yeah. All right. Listen. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. But you have like a tiny you know, Adam's apple. And Kiki has a big woman I, Adam's apple. Yeah. yeah well, Kiki's more of a woman than me. I agree on that. I'm a whole lot of woman. I'm two and a half cups of woman. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. your What's your name? I'm Vivian Vale. Nice to meet you, big fan. Vivian Vale. Listen, you should yeah, call me. Yeah, my sister Elena Vega told me about you. Here, I'll slide in the business card. Oh God, yes. Them. Okay. Shh. That'll be our little secret. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Put it. I'm gonna give you a call. Through the window. I'm gonna give you a call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Text me. Text me when you're right, in the gym. Okay, Dispatch. Yeah, I love you. Triple five. My car. Ten twenty three RPM. Oh no. My car. Oh no. 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 Oh yeah, they're taking it to the crusher, Kiki. Apparently, no! they did some some illegal stuff earlier with the uh, when they got stolen. Oh my god! And what? there was some officers that got killed during the morgue now for crushing that thing. No, yeah. they can't. It's mine. Yeah, they can. No, they, they can. can't. Can't do that. They, no, they uh, actually can. Yeah. But I called 911. I reported it. Yeah, could you, but could you, could you believe that bitch back there? Oh my god, I used to look like you. Listen, what bitches, the fuck's that supposed to mean? Yeah, bitches be jealous yeah, honestly, of the rocks that her, I got. I'm yeah, in movies sometimes still people will, like block. do that thing where they yeah. like grab their hair and smash yeah. it into the car. I yeah. thought about doing that for you. you know. But the other officer there, you know, I didn't want to. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Had you grabbed her hair and smashed her head into the window, I think I would have climaxed immediately right there. Yeah, I was worried about that. I just got the seats yep. clean. Yeah, so. it would have been a tantric climax, and it would have been fucking messy. Yeah, it yeah. would have I mean, been I'm real sure you're building it up with tantric. You like save it for a while and you build it up, right? I, I've been. Let me tell you, I've been saving it for 38, uh, 22 years. I've been saving it for twenty two years. Twenty two so. yep. because you're only twenty. That's correct. Eight. Yep. How no, old are you? what? 29? I'm twenty two. Wait. Oh, you're twenty two. What okay. the fuck? I'm like twenty nine. You think I had my first tantric orgasm when I was seven? What's fucking wrong with you? Oh my god. Uh, well, no, I thought, I just thought, like, because you wouldn't oh, have been, been aware of, like, sexual, I like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. Because, like, yeah. kids typically I, are not. Oh, boy, this is going, hey, how about those what red What a great thoughts? conversation <laughs> we're having. Yeah, this is, you know, Kiki, I'm always so happy when you're around. We have, we have the nicest, you know, cleanest, family-friendly conversation. That's what people say. They call me Kiki yeah. Family-Friendly Chanel. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Listen, yeah. this is all just That's one big say. misunderstanding, okay? Is it? Is that right, Kiki? I think you just give me, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars to fix mm -hmm. up the old Betchmobile, and we'll just be on our way, you know? I'll you give you. Your pockets are gonna poke progress, Kiki. Listen, I don't even. You're gonna have to tell me. I, <laughs> I couldn't tell. I got a lot of shit in there. I have no idea. It's possible. Oh God, you do. Have, why? Why is your everything's all busted up, Kiki? When's the last time you're in the goddamn city? Listen, okay? I'm sentimental. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> can't move you, Kiki. Make what do you mean? Arrest you? No, you arrested me. I didn't make you do anything. Okay, there I was minding my own business, barbecue sauce on my titties. <laughs> An officer <laughs> hero shows up. Okay, jeez, so much. Jeez, Louise. Are there any? Are there any lawyers in town? I want a lawyer. Oh, you don't need a lawyer. I need a lawyer. I want two. I'm giving you a. I'm giving. I'm putting you in the cell. I'm giving you a traffic ticket and I'm kicking you out of here. <gasps> I cannot believe that you would do this to me. Okay, we'll make you it seventy-five dollars. No, I don't want to go to prison. Oh, okay, I thought. I thought God. you said you couldn't believe. Is Bovice? Uh, is Bovice still up there? By the way, BT I think he died or something. What? <gasps> died? Bovice died? <laughs> yeah, there were some. There were some like Japanese gangsters called the Yakuza's or the Yazukas. Okay, Yazukas, that's what it was. The Yazuka, and Yazuka they, like, Joe. Yeah, they, I've like, heard of them. they like that cut his head off. What the fuck? Yeah. They, they they had this like Achilles style battle, and all there was like seventeen of them, and they all went down, and he kept killing them left and right, breaking their spine, snapping their heads off, and oh one of them God. finally cut his damn head off. Jesus. Yep. Well, good fucking riddance. That man was a psychopath. Did you know that he held me at knife point down at the docks like a year ago? Is that right? He made me try to smuggle a knife into prison for him. And when I didn't, he almost fucking killed me. He tried to what fucking kill me. Yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> he made me change the name of Kiki's Organic Clothing to Bovice World. Ew. Yeah. That's a terrible name. I know. It doesn't even. It's like a great name for like a rap album. but Bovice World. It's not even original. He just took his fucking name and said World. It's kind of good. It's like Game World, right? Yeah, I mean, I get. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, okay, touche, touche. So, are you seeing anyone these days, or? You know, I'm kind of married to the job right now, Kiki. But you know, I, I get around. You know, on the side, you know, I don't commit to much, but I'm like a butterfly. If your light's bright enough, I'll buzz around. Yeah, sometime maybe we should get together and watch Faces of Death on my projector screen in my basement. Sure. What's that? Wait, that's that. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, we should watch that. Yeah, it'll be great. A little popcorn. The the, you know, you know where they eat, they make her eat the pepperoni. That's my favorite part. They make her eat the pepperoni. What the fuck? Well, who makes who eat what pepperoni? What? You know, what are you thinking about a different film? I think we might be thinking of a different. <laughs> I think that might be a slightly different one. Okay, but listen. Speaking of, oh, eating, sorry, I thought you were. A, I thought you were a snuff film aficionado. Speaking of putting pepperonis in your mouth, you know, play your cards right, and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I know the second I said it? Well, listen. Okay, I'm a girl that likes a deli meat. What can I say? So what did you actually pull me over for? I didn't even do anything wrong. Oh yeah, so you started screaming the second I pulled you over. Uh, I pulled what? you over because you were you were going uh you were going like eighty six and a thirty five. Oh, okay. So like a, just a little bit over. Just uh, a I tiny always, bit. I always go 10% over. Just a felonious amount over. No, yeah. it's not. Okay. And it's first, it's no. Okay. Listen, stop funny. talking about deli meats. First is pepperoni. Now it's felony. What's next? Okay. I don't think it was that. I think 86 is an exaggeration. Whoa, whoa, I didn't maybe. see, I did not see myself going a mile an hour over 83. So I feel like you're blowing out of proportion. Okay, so you're calling it 82, is what you're saying? Yeah, I think 82 max. And that's not even that bad. I, I had an emergency. Aren't there exceptions in the law for emergencies? Oh my God. Wait. What? Why are there? There's two. There's goddamn <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> whichever is the one with the whichever is the one with the less bad criminal record, which use one, that one. Which one looks like Blanca from Street Fighter? God damn it! 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 Listen, okay, I there is a smear campaign against me. <laughs> I've not done anything wrong. And there's a smear. Listen here, this is defamation. Okay, I'm gonna take this entire okay. police department to court. Okay. What's your, Slander. What's your goddamn state ID, Kiki? Ah, uh, five, four, seven, nine, thief. Is it? Wait, this is weird. Actually, one of them is three five six three. The other one three five six six three. Yeah, it's three five six three is mine. Why is there two of them? Listen, I don't need to explain anything to you, okay? <laughs> give, me, give me a goddamn finger, Kiki. Ah, uh, I might put a ring on it. Oh, <laughs> hey. Try pulling it. Well, 
Uh, I'm good. No, pull it. You'll like it. It'll be funny. Just give it a little, Kiki, give it a little why talk. Why your original photo look like Blanca from Street Fighter? <laughs> Listen, pull my <laughs> pull my shut up and pull right. my finger. Ow! Oh my god, my fucking finger! Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ow! Are you crazy? I could be. Okay. Well, Eventually, I, if you put enough alcohol in me. I'll tell you why. That's my picture in the system. Yeah. Because of the toxic fucking men who yeah. are in this department and they take one look at me and they say, oh, uh -huh. Kiki, there's a forest fire in my loins and only your lady juice can extinguish it. Uh -huh. That's what they say. Okay. They say, hey, you wanna, it's all of it's all of garden. Tell, tell you, tell you and I want to I want to dip my anything. unlimited breadstick in your pube salad. That's what they're saying. What, what are you going to do for me? I'm willing to give you one opportunity. Instead of sending you to jail, okay? okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a speeding ticket. Okay. I'm gonna give you driving without a license. Okay. okay. All right. And then I'm gonna let you out of here for time served. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. And then I'm gonna let you go get changed to get all extra pretty fied. Uh -huh. let's, let's be let's be real. You're pretty fied more than any woman in the city oh, right now. But extra nice. pretty fied. Oh, okay. All We're right. gonna take a new photo for your uh for your picture. Okay. Okay. All right. Deal. Because this. <laughs> Thing. Have you seen this picture? Do you know what this thing looks like? <laughs> no, I don't. I have Hold no on. idea. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. What the fuck? It's not that bad, okay? I'm very photogenic. <laughs> What's your phone number? Uh, it, it's uh, 6289211102. Five. Oh, I swear, Kiki, I'm gonna what? text you a picture of this photo. What is yeah, your number? I just told you it's six two eight nine two one one zero two five. Your number is six two eight two nine one one zero two five. No, 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 no. Six two eight nine two one one zero two five five. Yeah. yeah. Six two eight two nine one one zero two. No, 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 no! You're not listening to what I'm okay, telling I'm you, Case. All right, go six ahead. Six two eight nine two one one. Six two eight nine two one one two zero five. You said one five this time. No, I didn't. I said. I six. could just twat it out, Kiki. No, I could just twat not. it out for the whole world to see. <laughs> you wouldn't. You I fucking would. wouldn't. I'd do it I, so I, I dare you to. I dare you to. I. You have my full permission. It's not that bad. I'm a, I'm a very photogenic person. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea what this looks like, chat. Is it called a tantric orgasm because like a hang down punching okay. bag? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. Listen, okay? No, I refuse to fucking change it. I'm not ashamed of myself. I used to rock the bull cut. Sure. <laughs> I, 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 Girl, you got a in there. You can hide gold in, okay? <laughs> God damn it. <coughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I refuse to apologize. <laughs> I can't believe nobody showed this. Are you were you drunk when I was driving you? What the fuck was I just drunk? asking? No, 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 I was actually you shit out. What did you do? What the I did I didn't even do anything! I didn't what even do she's anything! She's a criminal! I am yeah, not! You're behind the cells! I, I, I'm not a criminal! I have been arrested for no reason! Yeah, Mr. Hydra here just wanted to give me a little smooch on my on the nape of my neck! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! And now what here I am! Did he ask you out first? No! That's he was just true. like, oh! oh my god. He was just like, oh Kiki, is that a little bit of mustard on the nape of your neck? <laughs> you That's what he did. That's yeah. Yep. You, yep. you gotta ask her out first. Yeah. Did you like my picture, the by the way? Mustard. My wait, of me? No, of me. On Twitter. Wait, check it out. It's a photo. Let me see. <laughs> 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 what do you think? I used wow. to rock. I used to rock the bowl cut. Come on. Yeah. No, it's great. 
You ever see the, the, the meme of the, the, the cat wearing the watermelon <laughs> helmet? <laughs> you shut your oh my God, fucking that is. mouth! <laughs> I, need, I, I need medical assistance! God damn it. No one's taking these fucking taser right, prongs out me... yet. I feel like I'm wearing weird nipple rings. Can oh, you? Oh yeah, get... I thought we were gonna do it. I thought that we were gonna make it like a role play thing. Oh, or... that's right. I'm, go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confirm that. <laughs> you thought we were gonna make it a role play thing? Well, listen, okay. I don't mean to be that kind of a bitch, but role play is kind of cringe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, who role plays on? Yeah, it's kind of gross. So I mean, <laughs> just change the name because role play kind of cringe. What are you even doing? Like, what are you role doing? Playing? Can you imagine that? Gross. I don't want you to role play anything. I want you to actually fucking hate me when you rip it out. Did it really? All right, Kiki, I build you for seven hundred fifty bucks. Seven hundred and fifty dollars just for Kiki. driving fifty. Kiki, it could have been it could have been nineteen hundred dollars and seventeen months in prison. Oh, um, what I meant to say was, God, you're so handsome. All right, put your come over here and put your hands behind your back. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. And cuff me, daddy. Oh, oh I will. Ah, I'll rip yeah. you through those bars, too. Oh, my God. Wait, you like that? Like That's a new technique I've been working on. I feel like I just phased through time All and right, space. Come, okay. come with me, Kiki. All right. You got kind of a sexy walk with your hands <laughs> oh, what? I, I never turn it off, okay? Boom, boom, I just, boom. I just never noticed until you were all yeah. cuffed up. I saw you looking at my turd cutter. <laughs> Things more like a cigar cutter. <laughs> well, play your cards right and I'll cut your cigar. <laughs> I could break a piece of steel off in there, okay? I practice uh -huh. Kegels. You know how some ladies can tie a cherry stem in their mouth? I can do it, but it's not using the lips on my face. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Kiki. Okay. You're, you're free to go, okay? All right. Get you the just, hell out of you here. just drive right. a little more safely from now on, okay? All right, I will. Thank where you so I, much. Where I would apologize. I be, where would I be going to get my vehicle out, by the way? Uh, it would be the tow yard. The typical one, not this one. That's it. It's just the, the normal one. Yeah, well, you want to ride? Shit. How much is it going to cost to get it out? Can I even fucking afford oh, it? <laughs> Probably not. God damn it. How much is it? I don't know. You have to go find What do you out. mean by probably not? I'm a very wealthy business owner. I own a clothing business. Okay. So it's probably gonna be like 2.5 mils based on the original price of the vehicle. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like 60% of the cost of the vehicle. <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> you can go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that chat? Can you believe that we're gonna have to pay 2.5 million to get our fucking car out of lockup? Can I see some blubbers in chat? Can I see some blubbers in chat? We gotta pay 2.5 million to get our cars out. Blubbers? <laughs> we gotta put my money to buy my car. Blubbers. What? <laughs> You said you were coming by the store. <laughs> Fuck me, I man! I took my car. And <laughs> his fucking cop who was a virgin. He took my fucking car. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and oh my god! <laughs> and it's gone. He gone. He got rid of it. <laughs> oh my god! A, a, a virgin <laughs> cop stole your car and ocean dumped it. Yeah, yeah, ocean dumped it with the fucking car. He got rid of it. Oh my god! The map, map, map. Hello, uh, hello, handsome. How are you? Um, um, yes. I can't oh, be in the car. what do you wow, mean? Wow. Listen, why don't you and I just back this car Mom, up a little bit? Stop. And we can, what? Uh, can you drive Mom. me to the impound lot, please? Jeez. The impound lot. Yes. Uh, my car um, got taken by a police officer. It's your obligation um, to help me out. Uh, um, I'm a damsel in distress. It's the middle of the night. It's downtown Los Santos. You're gonna let me walk on my own? Okay, fine. I sure okay, hope nothing no, bad I... happens to me. Oh my god, I fell! Blah! I wish an officer had been here to help! 
<laughs> Ma'am, don't say walk. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was funny. <laughs> Wait, his name is also in your title? What? I'm playing Kimchi Chimichanga, okay? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna cross the road here. I guess I'll just cross the road. Look, oh I'm protecting you. Oh, oh no, oh, cannibal, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Are you oh, crazy? God, I could have died. I could have died no. and it would have been your fault. You know what they would have said in my obituary? Kiki Chanel, fashion empress, dies early because of the incompetence of officer. What's your name? Jimmy Changa. Officer Jimmy Changa. Oh, are, you re are we related? Anyways, it would have no. said, due to the the negligent behavior of Officer Chimichanga, Kim Chis Chimichanga perished tragically, and it would have been your fault. <sighs> Yours. No. You want that on your conscience? No. Okay. All right. Thank Look, you. Look, you here to save. Thank you for the ride. Okay. And uh, you need to get it on the impound. Mm -hmm. oh. wow. <clears throat> uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you for the ride, Officer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ugh. I can help you get out the inbound if yeah. you want to. Well, oh, can you? Can you really? Is there anyone in yeah. there? Oh my god. Yeah, I need your help. Manager. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. <laughs> hey! GG, is that you? Officer Timmy Chonga, permanent and ented. Permanent and ented! Chad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm so far behind on Streamlabs. The fucking roleplay has been nonstop. Once we get our car back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fully caught up on Streamlabs. So if you come in with biddies or resubs, I'm gonna get caught up real quick, okay? Meow, meow. And what is your state on the Uh, it's a 3563. God, there are so many files back here. It's a, sorry, give me a minute. Yeah, take your time. Okay, and what it was? That's three five six three. Three five six three. That's right. Your taxi or your uh, your stretch or limo? Oh, pull out that big pink stretch. Oh. oh my God! Can't wait for you to pull out. Pull it out. I mean. It cost uh, like eight hundred and fifty-five dollars. What the fuck? Eight hundred and fifty-five dollars. What? Who? Who? Who, yeah. who do you think has that kind of money, huh? Who? Mm. Who? You tell me who. Don't wait a minute. You say you are Kiki. Yeah. Don't you own a clothes store? Oh, what, do you mean? what I meant to say was I can afford that easily. Eight hundred. I was willing to pay eighty thousand. Okay. Eight hundred dollars sounds great. Okay. Motherfucking piece of shit, motherfucking son of a bitch. Fucking asshole piece of shit, fucker. Wait a minute. What? What's wrong? No, no, I can't, you can't, I can't, I can't charge you. It's being a bitch. I oh, well, I mean, I guess if you just eat the charge yourself, then, you know, her, and then it's all good to go, you know? Mm. <laughs> what are the three sixes, an L5? Three sixes and an L5? Three six eight five. What's your other thing, Daddy? Uh, three five six three. Who wouldn't buy Kiki's parts? Yeah, I can do it easy. What the heck? Up. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I guess I'll just pay seventeen hundred dollars oh. for you. <laughs> Not That's... like I'm down bad or nothing. That's very. At least there's one gentleman left in this city. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yep. I can uh, return the favor sometime. Seventeen ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> My bro. date ID six two zero seven. Just letting you know. You know okay. I guess you have a need. Six two zero seven. You said. Hold on. <laughs> six two zero seven. Use ATM. We'll pay him back. I'll pay him back. Okay. Withdraw three hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, what was six two zero seven? You said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on one second here. He's, um, <clears throat> you know, anything for a lady. Hold on, let me check. Oh, give gash? I tried to oh, give the gash. There. Oh my god, there it is! Here, I think I have the key. Oh, another. Hello. Hey there, there you oh. go. Oh, okay. Don't go spending that all in one place, okay? <sighs> Invest. I really do like marijuana. You, you really what? I like marijuana. Oh. 
Oh, mar <clears throat> you like marijuana? Yeah. Well, Officer Chimichanga, you know, sometime maybe I'll swing by the police station with a bit of money and a bit of the old, uh, the old uh, cosmic cabbage. A little bit of the spark, a oh. little bit of the sparkle spinach. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, you want some keys? Oh, wait, keys to my own vehicle? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, that'd be nice. You yeah. have them or no? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Officer Chimichanga, okay, you, you are a credit to the force. You understand? You no are, problem, you are a credit to the force and you are strong, masculine, brave. I'm going to write a song about you. What's your first name? Jimmy. Jimmy Changa. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. Ch your first name, Jimmy. Yeah. Last name, Changa. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Officer. It's not my birth name. You know, my birth name Juan Jose Jorge Ricardo Santiago Changa, but uh, I go by Chimmy. I'm going to just call you Chimmy. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Chimmy Changa, Chimmy Changa, he is our hero. Chimmy Changa, Officer Chimmy Changa. Oh, Stubby. You'll see. Stubby. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a ballad for you, Officer, okay? okay. I'm going to see you again real soon. Okay, love you, okay, Smoochies. I won't. I won't. No crimes. No crimes here. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Jimmy Chonga? That's a great question. All right. Gasoline chat. Where's the nearest gasoline? Probably there. Okay. No mods. No ban. We cats. We cats. We cats. We jam. Neural Johnson, shut your fucking stupid robot mouth. You understand me? You shut your stupid fucking robot mouth. Neural Johnson, take your dumb fucking digital mouth and shut it the fuck up. Oh, stop it, chat. Stop. Stop. You're being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. Neural Johnson doesn't even know. Neural Johnson doesn't even know that I'm talking about him, okay? Neural Johnson just said in chat, who's the real tsunami? Great. Great. That doesn't even fucking mean anything. Okay. Carefully. Oh, so carefully. Respecting property. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Are you crazy? What the hell? Hello. I just, I just wanted a love tap. I just wanted a love tap. Well, you got. Hey. Hey, jerk. Hey, jerk. <laughs> Playing chicken in the fucking at the gas station is dangerous, chat. Ah! Oh, God, wait, that's a landmine. It's a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No mods, no mods, no mods, no mods. Chat, what are you doing? Okay. So we go here. Use gas pump. Gas pump. Regular. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chat, how do I make it do the thing? Ah, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Chat. Chat. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just walking around with a gas pump in my hand. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to... I'm gonna go ahead and return the hose for now. Maybe we just need to reposition the car, that's all. Crouch, you don't need to crouch, chat. Whoops. Pay first? I tried! Uh, I was trying, uh. Whoops. Use gas pump. Regular. Uh, oh, there we go, refuel. Pay by bank. Three, five, six, three. Holy shit, chat. Can you see that? No, you can't. It's $1,071.60. Do you see this shit now? No, you still can't see it. Damn it. It's $1,000 to refuel this fucking thing. Are you kidding me? Is it refueled now? Refuel. Start refueling. Okay, there we go. Only fill up 75%. Sometimes it bugs if you fill it up and it doesn't refill, but still charges you. <laughs> Tattoo real, yeah, right? That's a good deal. Shit, gas must be on sale today. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> way too realistic yeah right what the fuck if i cancel it when it's at the 75 percent mark do i still get a full tank what happens if i press escape while it's at 75 percent no we're going all the way we're going all the way um and then we're gonna drive up to uh harmony and try to get this sucker repaired no, it stops and refunds you what you don't use. Oh, sick. Ken. Oh my God, chat. It's Cinnamon Toast Ken. I can't fucking tell you how excited I was to hear the voice of Buck fucking Colton. It's so fucking good to see you, man. Oh my God. And seeing, seeing Buck's weird little fucking naked fucking baby dick was so, was so funny and so unexpected. Oh my God. Is, is John here john john paul what john paul who what? john paul these nuts john paul on what, what the f what the fuck did you motherfucker motherfucker god damn it <laughs> For fuck's sake, where's the stupid fucking <laughs> hardware store? We're gonna have to run down and buy a fucking repair kit and run back. All right, I'm gonna get caught up in Streamlabs while we're doing that, okay? Let me see, I gotta scroll back here. Scrolling, scrolling. Hey, Alpine Jones, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for the 27 months, dude. Silver Spit Prince, thanks for the seven months. Milton T. Pity, baby. Uh, Kevin in California, uh, thanks for the um, 14 months of support, Kevin California. Ouija guy, thanks for the 500 bits. Hey, Milty Wilty, it's my birthday. I can't think of any better, way to, any better way to spend it than right here with my favorite streamer. Chat, can I see some feels birthday mans in chat for Ouija Dare? Can I see some feels birthday mans in chat for motherfucking Ouija Dare? Happy freaking birthday, Ouija Dare. Mr. Delicious! Mr. Delicious! Where are you? And I just the car! <laughs> hey greasy deer zero one thank you for the tier one sub greasy deer thanks for the tier one sub chat let me see some mtp glue in chat for greasy deer a brand new tier one subscription welcome to the fucking insanity that is this channel thanks for the tier one sub princess jichu thank you for the 28 month resub tuner 96 thanks for the almost two years dude statum with the 27 months lena Thank you for the um, eight month resub. <laughs> My car! <laughs> what the f What is your. Hi. What the fuck is this print? Is that Sasquatches and and giraffe spots? Uh, it's sort of like a Rorschach test. I don't see what you're talking about. Ah, what does that mean if I saw a Sasquatch and giraffe spots? Huh. Okay, wow. How much did this fucking cost you, Mr. D? Uh, I took out a loan. This was $175,000. Oh, okay. Not as much as my car. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> uh, repair, repair kit. One. We only need one. Oh, stop it, chat. Stop it. Fuck that shopping cart. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't put shopping carts back. Fuck that shopping cart. That's right, your where's... job. Put that shopping cart back. It's over by the gas station that's near cock. Nearest cock. Is that... Is... I think... Oh! Huh. There we go. There we go. Is it easy? No problem. Mr. D, how's you... business been today? Uh, it, it was it was good. I, I, I think it was maybe Bubbles who held me at gunpoint and said he was going to oh, shoot me God. in the head if I didn't hang up the phone. Oh, so. okay. Um... Yeah, uh, shortly after that, I was apprehended. 
Um, oh. Illegally, I might add. I hadn't even done anything wrong. Oh, there it is. There goes my Betchmobile. Ah! Wow, our cars look like extensions of us. How, what does that mean? Well, I'm little Are you saying that I look yellow like, and... Okay. No, well, you're saying I'm that I look just like gonna... a zebra? Huh? You're saying that I'm an ungulate? That I'm a hooved oh, animal? Is that what you're trying to fucking say? Huh? Just large, if you think I'm a cow, just say domineering. It. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> large, pink, and domineering. That's how I like my men's. Uh, never mind. Hey, um, listen, um, mm hmm. I, I was gonna say something about work, but I don't remember what it was. I got too upset. Can you guide me through how to uh, how to how to fix this thing? Hold on, I'll pop the trunk. Or that hood. I know what I'm saying. I know vehicle terms. Okay, pop the hood. Rib a damn damn. Okay, and then we go here. Okay. And, and you should be able to just use that repair kit. Okay. The red wire is connected to the blue wire. Blue wire is connected to the green wire. The green wire is connected to the engine wire. The engine wire is connected to the steering wire. The steering wire is connected to the foot wire. The foot wire is connected to the gas wire. The gas wire is connected to the foot wire. The foot wire is connected to the leg wire. The leg wire is connected to the waist wire. The waist wire is connected to the torso wire. The torso wire is connected to the shoulder wire. The shoulder wire is connected to the arm wire. The arm wire is connected to the hand wire. The hand wire is connected to the toolbox wire. The toolbox wire is connected to the car wire. The car wire is connected to the brain wire. The brain wire is connected to the kiki wire. That's shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. And from the top, the brain wires. Oh, the red wire is connected to the green wire. The green wire is connected to the blue wire. The blue wire is connected to the arm wire. The arm wire is connected to the hand wire. The hand wire is connected to the engine wire. The engine wire is connected to the leg wire. The leg wire is connected to the torso wire. The torso wire is connected to the neck wire. The neck wire is connected to the head wire. The head wire is connected to the brain wire. The brain wire is connected to the yes wire. The yes wire is connected to the sad wire. The sad wire is connected to the childhood wire. The childhood wire is connected to the dad wire, the dad, the dad wire is connected to the by wire, the by wire is connected to the dad wire, the dad wire is connected to the y wire, the y wire is connected to the you left dad, dad. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, got it. Got it. Easy. I knew we'd be able to do it together, Mr. D. Hell yeah. Together, we can overcome anything. Racy to harmony. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Fuck you. <laughs> Got it. Easy. <laughs> all right the server reset okay all righty um silver spit prince thanks for these seven months dude um greasy deer thanks again for the tier one sub princess g true welcome back for 28 months tuner thanks for the 23 months Statum, how you doing, Statum? Thank you for the uh, 27 months, dude. Lena, thanks for the eight. Joshing Wolf, thanks for the 14 months. Alpha Schnauzer with the 17. Caster's Father with the 28. The Pastor, thanks for the 100 bits. Sophie Dread with the 21. Baz Egan, thanks for the seven months. <laughs> you are such a fuck, Baz. Bubber's Bathtub, thanks for the 500 bits. Hi, Milt, uh, Milty Way. I just wanted to say thank you for the notification messages and for all the entertainment that you bring us. I'm trying to kick a drug addiction that I've had since I was 13. I'm 28 now. I've been drug free for almost two weeks now, and I really needed that message today. You're a source of light in dark times, and I love you. Chat, can I see some dank hugs in chat for Bubber's Bathtub? Bubber's, you should be so fucking proud. That is fantastic, and I'm so proud of you. Excellent fucking work, Bubber's. Excellent fucking work. Um... That's incredible. Keep it going, Bubbers. That's so fantastic. You're doing the right thing. You're doing fucking great. 
two weeks out one more week and it's officially a fucking habit dude <laughs> baz you fuck dan 9977 thanks for the five months you know it thank you for the 18 months real care bear thank you for the 15 baby pierre dog thanks for the 37 months potato honey thank you for the 15 months minge waffle thanks for the 100 bits kiki climax thing is the real tsunami <laughs> yuck Hey, Milton's Mayo Socks. Thank you for the 28 months. Chat, how much would you have to get paid to walk around in a pair of socks filled with mayonnaise all day? How much? How much to walk around in socks filled to the fucking brim? Filled to the brim with fucking mayo, dude. Free. I do it for free. Ew, chat. GY BVG, thank you for the five month resub, dude. Shades, thank you for the 27 months three to five k six bucks two hundred dollars i'd pay you 70 bucks it sounds pretty awful doesn't it i'd do it for a hug jay i'll give you the hug for free no need for the mayo socks bro awkward little villain thanks for the 12 months dude daisy blossom thanks for the eight months scooter beach thank you for the 39 dude gear grinder thanks for the 100 bits kiki's got another officer in the bag casterman's gonna need to take a number <laughs> so true Hydra was all up in that shit, man. Jutali, thank you for the uh, 27 months, Jutali. Celestis Absentia, thanks for the 25 months. Great to see you. Contrizi, thank you for the 51, dude. Five millimeter kidney stone through a three millimeter tube. Yup, that's VAC for me. Oh my God, what? <laughs> Don't make me picture that, bro. Orlandoom, thanks for the 15 months, my friend. Hegelin, thanks for the four months. Angelique Monticolo, thank you for the two month resub. Having a tough few days. Kiki's exactly what I needed. I'm so glad that you've, you've got some time to get a couple kick W's with Kiki. Anti AB, thanks for the 10 months. All of Fire, thanks for the three freaking years, my friend. Um, <laughs> excited for the blowing stream. We blow every day here, okay? Um, Help myself. Thanks for the almost two freaking years. Okay, give me a second here, chat. Um, chat, I uh, found out that the developer of Leaf Blower Revolution was watching our stream on Friday. And now if you have a Humble North account, you can get 250 coins by using the promo code Milton Loves Blowing. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Get your gawkers out of here, chat. Get your fucking gawkers out of my face. Get your fucking gawkers out of here, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so chat uh once again we're major giggles god damn it stop cleaning your flute <laughs> uh so chat we are now swapping to one of the most pog in the pee hole games that has ever been made since the dawn of time and that game chat is leaf blower revolution Leaf Blower Revolution chat is an idle game completely free. You can get it on Steam. And uh, the whole point, chat, the whole point is blowing leaves. Do you love blowing? Because Milty loves blowing. Hold on, let me get my. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to adjust this a little bit here if you have a humble north account use the code milton loves blowing and get 250 free gems um so uh the purpose of this game pretty straightforward you are you angry at stupid leaves and having to blow them chat well let milton blow for you no um <laughs> with leaf blower revolution your goal is to blow leaves and uh, not only that, but to upgrade your blower through various uh, various advancements, leaf blowers, atomic leaf blowers, shovels, paint rollers, all kinds of crazy shit. You accumulate points by blowing leaves. 
Now, not only is all of that true, and not only is this one of the absolutely most addicting games that has ever come out, it's completely free. No strings attached, no fucking weird loot boxes or any shit like that. It's just a free idle game. And uh, in addition to that, um, it has a 95% positive review rating on Steam after 15,000 reviews. So if you're wondering if it's actually a good game, after 15,000 reviews, it has a 95% overwhelmingly positive rating. It's so fucking pog. So you can see down here at the bottom, you can upgrade your blower. You want different ways to blow this game. Well, this game will give you different ways to blow. And uh, then you also have other upgrades that you can use to augment your leaf blowing adventure. For example, um, spawns more leaves per tree in each step. Leaves drop faster. Receive plus one point per leaf. Um, you can unlock auto leaf blowers. You can use nuclear fuel for more blowing power. Uh, so uh, anyways, I love this game. It's so fucking addicting. It's so fucking chill. And, and up here at the very top, if you're looking at the skins and you go over to the album icon, the little alb, you can see right here. Look at that. Milton T. Pike one, yo Kiki. We're in the game, chat. We have our own icon in here and everything, okay? Why is this so addicting? I can't stop playing it now. It's so fucking good. How do you lose? You don't. You don't. You just don't blow as well. Not not Milton, though. Milton always knows how to blow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, buy Max. Buy Max. Buy Max. Buy Max. Yeah, baby. Let's fucking blow, chat. Let's blow. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Look at the little icons. Oh my God. I, th I think those are our automatic leaf blowers. <laughs> I love it. I love that our fucking automatic leaf. Oh, that's what ALB stands for. Automatic leaf blower. I thought it stood for album. Why? Because I'm an idiot. It stands for automatic leaf blower. So we have our own icon in here for our automatic leaf blowers. And you see this little thing right here? That's what it's doing. It's running around blowing, uh, blowing leaves around. Sardonic Sage, thank you for the 14 months of support. Um... Were you sponsored by Leaf Blower because that is how you're styling your hair now? What the fuck did you just say to me? Hey, you listen here and you fucking listen good. Okay, no, not wrecked. No, not Keck W, not Keck W. That's not appropriate. <laughs> Holy, no, no. What the fuck, chat? <laughs> no, I, first of all, my hair is very stylish. Okay, it's not done yet. My hairstyle's not done yet, chat, okay? Okay, Raj, dude, fucking sick, chat. <laughs> okay, we're saving up for platinum leaves. That's what we're doing. We're gonna keep blowing until then. Oh, you got your borpus blown wide open. No, that's not that's not what it means. Okay, riggity riggity wreck. We're gonna fight, chat. We're gonna have a fist fight. Okay, give me a second here. I'm gonna twat out and let people know that we're blowing. Okie dokie. Getting ready to blow. Do not miss your chance to blow! Okay. You like blowing? Milton does. So much so, if you have a Humble North account, you can get 250 free gems by by using the code Milton loves blowing. <laughs> and no, I'm not kidding. Come blow. Let's blow away. Excellent. Whoops. Okay. Leaf blower revolution, baby. Okay, what's a good leaf blowing gif? Leaf blower. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Ah! Okay, now, chat. So, some of you may remember, this might be seeming a little bit uh, strangely familiar to some of you because we were doing this on Friday. And then uh, the wind has been so crazy in the greater Toronto area that it knocked out all of my power and mobile data for an hour and 45 minutes. 
I wanted to log back into Twitch just to tell you that my power had gone down and I couldn't even access mobile data. So what we did last time, and we're gonna do again today, chat, is it's sort of like a chill, max relax, happy, fun, cozy vibes, ask Milton anything. For the duration of our leaf blower stream, you can ask me any question in the world and I have to give you an honest answer. I will answer your question as honestly as I can. You can ask me any kind of question that you want and I will answer it, chat. We chilling, dude. While playing leaf blower, yeah. I <laughs> owned by the wind while playing leaf blower, damn it. The irony's not lost on me, okay? I don't know if you uh, remember, but I told you that I was opening my own dispensary about an hour south of Toronto. Well, it's been a very long road, but I finally got a place that is way better than any spot that I've been looking at. Now I just need to wait for the building to be built and I'll be good to go. Hey, uh, Canada's daddy, when it's when it, you have like a, a, like a shop front or whatever, um, and like people can come in and buy stuff, let me know. I would love to swing. I would love to come and check out your place, genuinely. I would love to... Uh, I'd love to come check it out. I'll bring donuts and everything, dude. <laughs> Neural Johnson says in chat, I love blow, gawk, gawk, gawk. I love blowing dicks, but not leaves. Great, <laughs> Johnson, thanks. Okay, um, have you ever taken a poop so big that, uh, <laughs> that your pants fit better after? Yeah, I think so, honestly. Mostly it's like you feel kind of sick and you kind of have a stomach ache and then you uh, then you shoot such a massive stink pickle through a hoop that suddenly you feel better afterwards. I've had that. Uh, Milton, how many cans of Coke can you fit in your butt? I saw a video of a surgery like a week and a half ago of a person with an adult toy that got stuck inside of them. And I don't actually understand how it was possible because it looked like one of Vern Troyer's legs. It was like almost two feet long and like eight inches in diameter. Anyways, um, so with that in mind, probably quite a few, five or six maybe. Um, okay. Why the fuck can I use a fish to blow leaves? Why can't you use a fish to blow leaves? Aaron Mulatto says, do you love Robert Pattinson? Aaron Mulatto, I swear to God, okay? Um, Azur Angel says, if you could live anywhere without thinking about cost, where would you live? Well, I mean, I know it's kind of lame, but one of the honest answers is I fucking love where I live right now. I, I really am very fortunate to very much love the house that I live in now, but I'm kind of weird that way. I, I'm pretty easy to please in terms of where I live because when I met Aaron, to give you some idea, I was sleeping on a mattress. I didn't even have a, I don't even think I had a box spring. It was just a mattress on the floor in the basement of my platoon commander. I was perfectly content. Now that I actually live in a house, um, I love my house. So uh, it's not big and flashy. It may not be like the other uh, streamers houses you've heard of that are $4 million and, uh, you know, have their own private security and shit like that. But it's it's a nice house. It meets all the criteria that I need, mainly that it has um, air conditioning and a roof. So I really like uh, where I live in. Uh, and, I, and I really like where I live in the greater Toronto area, too. It's a nice uh, neighborhood that I'm in. Uh, but let's say that I couldn't live here. Let's say that I had to move somewhere else. A tough one. Probably Dallas. Um, you know, I think the coast of France. I think the coast of France would be nice. I learned to, uh, I learned to speak French, and um, I think that would be fun. Nice, uh, moderate weather. Looking over the water. Uh, okay. Next question. Let's see. Um, pick one, eat a bowl of soup or wear socks filled with mayo for a day. I actually don't mind soup. I'd eat soup. Can you tell us in detail the cucumber story? No, I can't. And that's the honest answer. <laughs> the honest answer is no, I cannot tell you in detail the cucumber story. I've been told I am not allowed. How many turtle beepuses have you studied in your many, many years as a bussy biologist? Okay, I'm not a bussy biologist. I'm a master of science. Okay. And it's turtle panesia. The turtle for the, the turtle, the plural for turtle beepus is turtle panesia. And I've studied many, many turtle panesia. Uh, do you invest in stocks? Says Darkrow. 
My honest answer? Nah. No, I don't. Um, I try to, uh, I try to save money where I can, uh, but I don't, I honestly don't know the first fucking thing about the stock market. And, uh, it goes to show you why, because maybe six months ago, I was debating putting like one or $2,000 into fucking Dogecoin. Boy, am I glad I didn't do that. <laughs> Isn't Elon Musk currently being investigated about like starting a fucking pyramid scheme with that shit very glad i didn't waste my time with that shit so no i i don't i honestly don't know much about the stock market i i don't like money dude i mean i don't like like thinking about it or stressing about it or worrying about it or obsessing about it or trying to plan a lot with it and shit like that i've always been like i can i can i meet my basic needs okay and if i can't then i'll reconsider but other than that, I try to like distance myself from it as much as possible. I find it to be a big source of stress. Um, does Aaron play any musical instrument? And if so, do you jam together with the low D whistle? Uh, she doesn't actively play any instruments, but um, we're hoping sometime to go on Kijiji and get a secondhand upright piano for a couple hundred bucks. And uh, she said that she has a lot of interest in learning to play the uh, piano. So if and when she does that, we'll probably jam out together, dude. Um, does Is small hands genetic in your family? Is fucking stupid brains genetic in your family? Oh, oh get fucking dabbed on, dude. Um, okay, if you absolutely had to choose Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, I don't even understand the difference. Chat, relax, relax, <gasps> relax. Can someone explain to me what's the difference between Miracle Whip and uh, mir mir Miracle Whip? And uh, mayonnaise, what's the difference? Miracle Whip is budget mayonnaise? Ew, that sounds kind of gross. Um, oh, sorry, one second here. Just adjusting a window size here. Miracle Whip is more sweet than salty. Oh, God, dude, ew. Miracle Whip is seasoned. It's like salad cream. Oh my God. This is the grossest fucking way I've ever heard it. Or maybe just mayonnaise then. Miracle Whip sounds fucked. I suppose that Milton Loves Blowing is better than Milton Loves Blow. <laughs> true. Very true. Um, I wonder if... Does this mean, go oh, gold leaves, gold, gold leaves. Unlock golden apples, get, eat some gold apples to get gold leaves instantly. Okay. We'll get that and we'll, uh, we will also unlock. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, okay now. Uh, da, 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 da. More questions. If you have any questions about anything, chat, ask me and I will answer it honestly. The Rogue Badger says, how has your mental health been doing? I hope that you've been feeling better. The truth, the truth, chat, is that since I've been taking this time to, um, like, actually pay attention to my mental health, um, it has been doing a lot better. The, the honest answer is that it's been doing a lot better and I've been feeling much better about everything, about streaming, about everything. Um, it was it was crazy. Uh, I'll just take this minute to uh, to explain a little bit about my my own adventure with mental health in case this resonates with anybody else out there. But uh, in 33 years of living, I had never had a panic attack before in my life. I didn't even know what one was. But my mental health really started to decline um, late in 2021 um, in the October to November range when I was still probably streaming or, and or working 50 to 60 hours a week. Uh, I ended up having a nervous breakdown and um, it was bad. It was bad. Um, it scared Aaron and uh, understandably so. Uh, it was during a power outage and um, I... I just had a complete fucking, I had a complete, it was a, almost a dissociative break with reality. It was fucked and it was super spooky. And so over the next few months, I started thinking to myself, what the fuck is going on internally? I, I didn't understand it. I'd never, never had it before. And then, um, uh, 
at the in February, uh, the end of February, beginning of March, um, I started having panic attacks and I didn't know what they were. I didn't even I, I thought I was going crazy. I would be sitting there on the couch, not doing anything, just watching TV. We were watching Peaky Blinders, as a matter of fact, and uh, I would just burst into hysterical tears, uncontrollable sobbing, uncontrollable hysterical tears with no idea of where it came from or why. And I felt this overwhelming, crushing sensation of doom and gloom, like something horrible was about to happen to me, but I didn't know what. And my heart was racing and I felt claustrophobic, like suddenly I couldn't breathe and I was going into tunnel vision. And um, around that time, I never really, uh, I never really said it out loud, but a couple of times I would be streaming and I would sort of end my stream sooner than usual because I would start having a panic attack. And uh, so I started to develop uh, panic disorder and panic disorder is pretty easy to describe because panic disorder is the fear of another panic attack. It's having panic attacks and then be being worried about the next panic attack. And so each panic attack you have, you become even more worried about the next panic attack. And anyways, it, it got it got bad. Um, I was uh, I was losing the ability to, to function normally and uh where i the day that i realized i was i like i realized enough was enough and i was gonna have to um you know make the snap to actually meet with a, a counselor was i was taking aaron to go to lunch at ikea here in toronto one of our favorite things to do and we've gone like fucking i don't even know 70 or 80 times in the past and as soon as i walked out the front door i just burst into tears I couldn't stop and I had to go back inside and sit on the couch and I thought I was going to fucking die and I realized, okay, it's probably time to, uh, to start talking to a professional about this anyways. And so I did, and I now I'm, I am now regularly seeing a registered psychotherapist, which has also been very, very, very helpful. And so I want to take this time to have a quick interlude to encourage anybody out there who's been on the fence about it. If you can talk to a counselor or a mental health specialist or a registered psychotherapist, please do. I know that it can be financially burdensome depending on your insurance situation or where you live, but if you have the option or if there are any free options or free resources, please do it. Um, your brain is a part of your body just like anything else, just like you would go to the hospital if you broke your ankle. Um, you can go to a specialist if there's something, uh, you know, if, if you're having a tough time mentally too. It's, there's nothing shameful about uh, getting help from a professional. Uh, in fact, it is it is admirable and commendable to get help. So uh, please consider getting help if you've been on the fence about it. It is the right thing to do. And if you find that you don't really connect with your first counselor, um, try again and again until you meet one that you gel with. So anyways, um, on that theme, for anyone out there who, uh, whoa, hey, emote only. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted subs. Chat, can I see some pogs and claps and chat for emote only? And, and I also want to take this time to, to discuss something with all of you um, real quick. Okay. And then I'll get back to answering questions. Don't you worry. I want to take this time to bring something up with all of you chat. And that is if you find that you struggle with anxiety, and I've actually got a list of some of the symptoms of someone having a heightened period of anxiety. And you can see if this resonates with you or not, chat. Because I bet there's some of you out there that might be dealing with anxiety and not even knowing that it's anxiety. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where am I? We're for Pete's Puss. Oh, yeah, I'm looking in the wrong album. My B. Is that under. Yo ho. Screenshots screenshots no would it be under hmm. well what the hell what the for pete's puss hey go there ah here we go okay warning signs that someone is experiencing heightened anxiety appearing zoned out snapping at something small becoming impatient struggling to make eye contact needing more reassurance struggling to sit still avoiding making plans about the future wanting to leave events early. And um, if you have that like low level energy inside that just feels unsettled and sort of unhappy and like you're not sure, it just feels unsettled and like constricting. It's constricting emotions. There's nothing wrong with you. 
there's nothing wrong with you. That you're not broken as a person, you know, you're not a you're not a, a broken toy on the the island of misfit toys or whatever. Um, it's just that we're so bad about talking about mental health in this society that uh, if someone breaks their ankle and you see and uh, you know a person sees them in their cast and they go, oh my god, how are you doing? And they go, oh yeah, I broke my ankle when I was skiing. Meanwhile, if someone is dealing with incredible anxiety or other mental health anguish, and someone sees them and says, how's it going? They say, oh good, how are you? Or I'm fine. So anyways, we just got to get better at talking about it and acknowledging it. So if, the, if that sounds like you and a lot of people these days um, are dealing with heightened levels of anxiety, there's nothing wrong with you and uh, there are resources available, okay? Um, okay, anyways, so uh, to cap this all off, a book that I highly, 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 highly recommend everybody check out. I don't know where else it's available. I found it on Audible. It's an audiobook. It's called Unwinding Anxiety. Unwinding Anxiety by Dr. Judd Brewer. Unwinding Anxiety by Dr. Judd Brewer. I listened to it on um, Audible. And after listening to it slowly and applying everything that he talks about in the book, I managed to stop my own panic attacks before I met with my registered psychotherapist. And I haven't had one since. I finished the book on March 26th, and that was, uh, I think I had my last panic attack on like March 21st, and I haven't had one since. So um, it was an excellent book, and that that it may be a person-to-person -person thing, but it was an excellent book, so highly recommend it. All right, anyways, that was a very long answer. Now I'll continue answering your questions. Do you think that the queen is a lizard? Isn't she the second oldest reigning, uh, like, crown wearer now? I think she just passed into the second longest living uh, crown wearer that we've ever had. And um, the interesting thing is uh, Aaron and I discuss this sometimes because without going into too much detail, because this is a topic that we don't need to, we don't need to focus on too much today. But with everything going on with the royal family right now, Aaron and I are wondering if when the queen eventually passes away in the year 2120, uh, do you think that'll be it for the royal family chat? Do you think they'll just sort of close the doors and move on? I think it, I think it might sort of be done at that point. I think um, I think once uh, I think once she's gone, I think that might be it. You don't think so, really? You think they're gonna keep going? I don't know, man. People might just like slam the door shut. Nah, people hang on to that shit, really, eh? Okay, England will never let it go. They'll just keep pushing it. They won't give it up. Okay. That's going to be the downward spiral. No way they'll freely give it up. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so is she a lizard? There's a chance, man. There's a distinct chance that she might be a lizard. It's possible. If I ever needed to be convinced of the, the existence of a, a lizard in charge, the queen would be it. Um, okay, next question, next question. Let's see here. What was your worst and best interaction in No Pixel to date? Man, best and worst interactions. Is Cinnamon Toast Ken still here? My, re my interaction with Cinnamon Toast Ken, uh, Kiki's first date with Brad is one of my best memories I've ever had from streaming. One of my best memories I've ever had from role play. Fuck man, it made me laugh so hard. Kiki's first date with Brad was definitely one of the funniest moments I've ever had. Um, worst moments in No Pixel? Uh, I'm gonna see if anyone knows this reference that I'm talking about because I don't want to stir up any drama, of course, but I had an interaction with a streamer where I was playing our character Sammy Smiles. In fact, it was the last time we played Sammy Smiles and uh, Sammy Smiles was... Um, was knocked off his bike and incapacitated by this individual and then had all of his money taken by this individual. And then this individual sent about 72,000 chatters over to uh, <laughs> talk shit. That wasn't fun. <laughs> so uh, that, that was not a, not a super uh, redeeming memory from no pixel. <laughs> Uh, okay, next question. Next question. Uh, how do you get into a better mindset 
and how not to people please. Uh, I find myself uh, not sure uh, of how to be with people. Um, this is going to be a complicated answer, and I'm going to try to make it succinct. Uh, so let me see how I can describe it. Basically, I'm a people pleaser too. Uh, as the the kid of an alcoholic parent, I just grew up as a people pleaser. I'm sure there's lots of people in chat that can relate to that. And it's hard because people pleasing means that you worry about how other people feel to the exclusion of how you feel. You don't even really give a shit about how you're doing internally. All that matters to you is how everyone else is doing. Uh, that's really hard. Uh, that's really tough and it takes a serious toll on your mental health after a while when you will literally ignore anything going wrong with yourself because you're so busy worrying about um, uh, everyone else that you're trying to people please and in terms of how to uh, how to deal with it um, the only thing that I can really recommend is practicing really hard so fucking hard uh, self-awareness and, and awareness of what's going on internally. When you find yourself engaging in your normal patterns of behavior that people pleasers do, i.e. you're having a conversation with someone probably over text message and then you suddenly find yourself wondering and worrying about whether or not you've said the right thing or if they're upset with you or happy with you or what can you do to make them happy with you and all the rest. Uh, you have to catch yourself in the moment. You have to catch yourself having those thoughts. And um, that's all you have to do at first is just catch yourself having the thoughts. And then over time, when you practice that catching yourself, you can start to investigate the root feelings. What are you feeling in that moment where you're about to engage in the, in the compulsive, I need to people please behavior try to scroll the Rolodex back a bit and look at the feelings internally. Are you doing those behaviors because you're having constricting feelings internally and people pleasing is going to remove those constricting feelings? Because one of the things that um, I find is one of the only things that worked for me is complete acceptance of those feelings, complete 100% acceptance of the feelings without giving into them. Allow yourself to feel the constricting feelings without giving in to the compulsion to people please and the constricting feelings will go away because you know intuitively it's not good for you the only thing you can do is exercise and it's hard i know it's hard but you have to treat your yourself internally like a kid you know like a like a like a young person that you would have compassion for and imagine you saw a kid trip on the sidewalk and smash their ice cream cone into their face. Now you might be thinking that you would laugh at them and say, haha, get wrecked. But you know that you would feel bad for them. Allow yourself to feel that sort of compassion for yourself. You're a human being and you're doing your best. And by then accepting the constricting feelings, you can eventually work at dismantling them. Hopefully that helps. Okay, next question. Let's see here. Uh, how many Vern Troyer legs can you fit in your bottom? Three or four? Uh, there's a video of a girl saying she got a chicken wing stuck, stuck up her, you know, I do know. And I don't know why people do this. Milton, can you giggle every inch of your butt? Easily, dude. Easily. <laughs> um, why don't you like finishing games? Wouldn't hooligan, I love finishing games, but the issue is that more good games come out before I beat them. And then I want to play them more than I want to beat games. Okay. What was my favorite TV show growing up? Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys and Dragon Ball Z. Those are the only shows you need. If I could only have Dragon Ball Z and um, uh, if I could only have Dragon Ball Z and uh, Trailer Park Boys, I wouldn't need anything else in life. Uh, if you had to live inside of a video game, which game would you pick? That's a great question, Voice of Grog. Uh, chat, same question for you. Same question for you, uh, what would you pick? Is Trailer Park Boys that old? I started watching it when I was 13 because my mom wouldn't let me watch The Simpsons. She thought The Simpsons was too inappropriate for me. I'm not even kidding. So she wanted me to watch Trailer Park Boys instead. You know, a show about guys illegally trying to grow dope and getting into shootouts in a trailer park. So that was what I grew up on. Um, but if I could live in any video game, people saying Doom, Fallout, Leaf Blower Revolution, let's go. I would live in Leaf Blower Revolution. Now, nah, I'd probably live in Animal Crossing because it's impossible for anything bad to happen. And if my neighbors piss me off, I could smack them in the stupid fucking face with a net. 
and not get in trouble. Worst case scenario, they just leave. What is your perfect temperature on the thermostat? 69 Fahrenheit, right? Uh, where would you be your favorite place to vacation? My favorite place of vacation, uh, I really liked the cruise to Hawaii that I went on because I didn't have to cook any of my own food and uh, I got to sleep as long as I wanted and it was just gorgeous. So I really liked Hawaii. Hawaii was really nice. I know it's a cheap answer, but if I had to choose uh, domestic, uh, I really like Vancouver Island. Uh, have you ever, or would you ever like to see live theater? I have seen live theater. I saw Avenue Q, fucking incredible, fantastic production. And I saw Wicked in Seattle. If you haven't seen Wicked yet, chat, Wicked is so fucking good, man. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. If your wife and your mother switched bodies and you had to fuck one of them to switch them back, which would you choose? Uh, I'd take turns. I don't want anyone to feel left out. You know what I mean? Uh, my partner and I are planning a romantic road trip from Montreal to Niagara Falls. Any stops that you recommend along the way? Um, I can honestly say, uh, I've, I don't know if that I've ever done that drive yet. So I can't answer it yet, but, uh, if once I do the drive, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, uh, Breezes Michelle, I'll let you know. I have a question. Can you make me a poop knife? Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, okay, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. If you weren't a streamer, what would you want to do for a career? Teach. I would love to be a teacher. I think it has the fun performance aspects of uh, streaming um, while, of, while also hopefully having a, a positive impact on some people's lives. So I would fucking love to be a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher growing up. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a teacher, but my mom managed to shit all over that enough that I told myself I would never go into teaching. I always got the, those that can do, those that can't teach. So I just gave up on teaching, just decided to squash my dreams for a while. Uh, so that's probably what I would do. Uh, have you heard all of your brother's blurbs? I've heard quite a few of them. I've heard quite a few of them. Does the T in Milton T. Pike one stand for bullet dodger? What is that? What is the bullet dodger? What? <laughs> what, bo what bullet did I dodge? Have you learned any songs on the guitar yet? Can we get a sneak preview? Axel Bard, I've actually fallen behind on my practice. I need to practice. I'm going to practice today. No, I'm still trying to build calluses. So I'm just practicing chords while I'm building calluses on my fingers. Have you heard Elon's son's name? Is that the X-E-A-E -E fucking stupid symbols? I just heard that Elon Musk's 18-year-old daughter is trying to officially change her name, I believe. Uh, so yeah, Elon Musk, Parent of the Year Award. Uh, is there any way that you can tell the cucumber story? Oh yeah, no, I, um, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I was told specifically not to, um, Jay, we should watch all of uh, the boys sometime. We should do another watch party and watch the boys because I don't remember where we left off, but I really want to keep going with that show. Um, okay. All right. More questions, more questions. Have you ever been so sick that you threw up and had diarrhea simultaneously and how bad was the cleanup? I've heard of that. I've heard of people being so sick that they have it coming out of either end. I've never had it. I've never had that. Chat, have you ever had that? I don't know. Does that exist? How do you get that? Is that from like food poisoning or like bad water or how do you get that? I've never had it. Yeah, you've had it. Yeah, it sucks. Really? Oh my God. I was that sick last week. Really? I've had terrible food poisoning from Sonic. That was that bad. Interesting. Uh, I've come close with food poisoning. God, that's, that's fucked, man. No, I've been lucky enough to not have that. It sounds so fucked. My God. Um, okay. Next question. Next question. Do you have any tips on dealing with imposter syndrome? I have a small business and I make my products by hand. So it hits hard when I'm working. Um, my answer, take it if it resonates and discard it if it doesn't. I would say this, uh, one of the ways that I think of to deal with imposter syndrome is to try to separate, um, try to separate your expectations from your products. Simply allow yourself to make your product and allow it to be as, it, as successful as it is going to be. And if it is successful, that's wonderful, but simply don't get attached to the success and tell yourself that if tomorrow it stopped being as successful, that you'll still be okay and that you won't allow it to define 
uh, what you think of yourself. I had to do the same thing with streaming, right? Streaming is a great example of that. I have a lot of friends and a lot of colleagues that have gone through periods where their channel stopped doing as well and it fucking eats them alive from the inside out because suddenly they start thinking oh my god i thought i wasn't entertaining enough and now i'm getting proof that i'm not entertaining enough and it just fucking kills them uh and i always try to encourage them to just just create your content create your content with no um expectations or anticipations of the results and if someday it no longer performs enough to pay the bills then allow yourself to move on with your life and do something else without thinking it's because you failed just try to go just try to flow with life i'm a taoist at uh, at my core and to go with a Tao means to take the middle path neither to expect uh overly expect things of yourself nor to give up and do nothing entirely just allow yourself to to do what you do and go with the flow of life sort of like you're surfing um society does a really good job of having us focus on everything superficial social media looks income how impressive your position is all the rest uh and the expression that i've heard that i think is pretty true is uh you know and i know that i talk about meditation sometimes but when you sit in meditation and you allow yourself to just exist peacefully and quietly without all the mental noise about who you are and what you are and all the all the rest you realize that deep within every single one of us is this immensely deep well of quiet peace and solitude and calmness that is constantly um veiled by the noise that we deal with in modern society and um so to liken it to the ocean, your true nature is the ocean, but society convinces you that you're the wave. And what are waves? They're energetic, they move quickly, and they dissipate quickly. They come in all sorts of different sh shapes and sizes, and society convinces you that you're the wave when in fact you're the ocean. Hopefully that helps. Okay, next question, moving on. Next question, oh, let's see here. Um, what music have you been listening to lately? Um, I've been listening to a lot of uh, 70s uh, psychedelic music, mostly on like the electric keyboard and shit like that. It's called Silla Vibin. <laughs> it's just like some old dude in the 70s vibing out on an electric keyboard. It's pretty fucking pretty poggers, man. Uh, okay, scrolling. Next question. Next question. Who's my favorite person in chat? Oh, I can answer this really, really. I can answer this really, really easily. And a lot of people wonder if it's a subscriber or if it's just the average chatter. And I can tell you with 100% certitude, my absolute favorite person in chat is. I've just, I've got a great relationship, and um, so thank you for being here. Uh, you know exactly who you are. Uh, okay, how much did Aaron change your life? I know myself. I never met my. Uh, if I never met my wife, I don't know that I've even that I would even be here. Uh, Axel the Bard. Yeah, Aaron completely changed my life. Aaron. Uh, Aaron brought me out of a very very dark spot, um, and uh, and really, like, turned me from an embittered uh materialist reductionist nihilist into uh profoundly spiritual you know cosmic um uh, much happier much more peaceful person 100 percent. it was amazing she's incredible yeah i i feel so lucky every single day she's a hundy p my fucking soulmate dude uh okay um Let's see here. Have you ever trusted a fart too much? Yeah, more often than I'd like to admit. Yep, definitely. I may not have done the puke and diarrhea thing at the same time, but I've definitely trusted a fart when I should not have. Uh, okay, we have 1.75. So I want... We'll buy that one. I wonder if that means that I get... Does that mean that I... Oh, it does. Okay, so we're gonna have to spend our... So one of the upgrades that I recommend, Chad, if you buy if you buy Leaf Blower Revolution... By the way, if you're wondering what we're playing today, Chad, this is Leaf Blower Revolution. We've been sponsored to play Leaf Blower Revolution. If you have a Humble North account, you can use the code Milton Loves Blowing for 250 free gems. Um, and if you're looking for the upgrades that I highly recommend, 
If you're looking at the leaves shop, I recommend leaf marketing. Receive plus one leaf per level by using advanced marketing techniques. Highly recommend that. And I also highly recommend the same thing, golden marketing in the golden leaves tab, because it means that each time you blow away a leaf, you get an additional point. So pick up those ones, okay? Um, okay. Milton, if there's one thing your viewers could be doing differently to make you feel more support and less pressure, what would it be? Nothing. Nothing, chat. You genuinely, I can't even tell you how thankful I am for your support and your patience and the like the warm love. And uh, I, I've said this before, but I, I get messages on Twitter and and, 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 and on Discord um, every now and then. And um, because I'm, I'm pretty busy outside of streaming and because... Um, I often can't respond to all the messages. I do my absolute best to read all the messages and I've just gotten so many heartwarming messages from so many people in the community over the past while. It's just been really, really nice. So nothing, it's the perfect fucking community. I am so, so fucking thankful. I look forward to every single time I get to stream because I just love hanging out with all of you. Um, and there's nothing that you could do differently. I, I don't feel pressured by the community at all. Uh, I always want to put on a good show and to make you feel like you enjoy the program, uh, but I never feel pressure. So you're an incredible, incredible group of people that I feel so fucking lucky to hang out with. So fucking lucky. Uh, okay. Uh, next question, next question. Uh, let's see here. Questions, questions, questions. Uh, da, 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 da. In Canada, psych psychiatry is covered free. Uh, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna have to look into that because I got charged $140 a session, um, for my, uh, current counselor, but I think I'll probably be able to get that covered by VAC on account of having been released with a 37% disability with PTSD. <laughs> I could probably get some assistance with that okay next question next question next question let's see here question ask me anything chat what was the book again about uh wait what was the one about the uh the fear of having another panic attack oh that's called panic disorder breezy okay next question next question here um da -dum -da -dum -dum -dum. your blowing skills are unparalleled i'm really good at blowing dude I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hell of a blower. I blow like crazy. Okay, questions, questions, questions. Scanning. Is it true that Canada is banning single-use plastics soon? It's absolutely true. I think it starts on July 2nd. Canada is gonna be banning single-use plastics countrywide. No more single-use plastics in the fucking country. Turtle beepuses rejoice. See a single-use plastics, not in our waters. Okay, let's see here. More questions, more questions. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Milton or chat, does anyone have any advice for finding or making motivation? The things that I loved or that would drive me to accomplish things or better myself or even just doing things that I know I love and enjoy don't work anymore. It's so darn hard to do anything when literally everything feels like shit or best case scenario feels like nothing. My friend, that, that sounds like I'm not, I, everyone throw, throws around, oh, you're depressed. I don't think it's that simple, but I think those are symptoms of depression, depressive symptoms. And, um, you know, nothing can uh, really compare with talking to a professional about it. So that would, of course, be my number one recommendation. But some other things that I've put into practice myself that I have found really help. This is a weird one. Wake up at the same time every morning. Don't worry about what time you go to bed. If you're a night owl like me, that's fine. But wake up at the same time every day. Put your put an alarm on your phone for 9 a.m. or whatever time you have. If you have to wake up for work, wake up at the same time every day, uh, no matter what. Um, yoga is a great thing to get into because yoga isn't about the body. Yoga was initially all about the mind. Uh, so doing, I find doing yoga, I'm, I want to get into it. For me, it's just been a lot of stretching. Getting out and walking outside for half an hour really helps. And uh, for me, diet was a big one. I started to feel better once I just started getting vitamins and eating a shitload of strawberries and stuff like that. So um, there's no uh, super easy answer for depressive symptoms. Professional help would of course be my number one recommendation. But aside from that, try to get lots of sleep. Uh, try to wake up at the same time every day. Um, try to get outside, uh, even if it's just to go around the block. Um, 
that would be a place to start. Hopefully some of that helps. Um, okay, scrolling, uh, scrolling. We'll get caught up on Streamlabs in just a minute, Chad, okay? I hope you consider doing a podcast where you talk about different topics. You're a great teacher. The fact that you can empathize with people. Oh, hey, that's nice, Calacucci. Yeah, uh, I think I just really fucked up your name. Your name is definitely not Calacucci. It's Calachucci. Um... <laughs> I, uh, I've talked about uh, starting a podcast with my brother where we talk about anything and also talk about science related stuff. So I might do that sometime. It's not a bad idea. Um, how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? You know, they say it's like five or 15. No, it's like 150. It's like 150 licks to get to the center probably. Maybe even more, maybe 300. Animal Crossing has been out for two plus years and still no 100 fish challenge. Brenda, I'm going to fight you, okay? Uh, okay, scrolling. Have I watched the Shorzy show? No, but I want to. I definitely want to. Uh, okay, scrolling, scrolling. When are we going to watch Arcane? Fuck, we need to pick a day and just watch all of Arcane, dude. Okay, more questions. Uh, do they have Renaissance fairs in Canada? Have you ever been to one? I actually don't know if they have Renaissance fairs in Canada. The closest that I've come is um, the closest that I have come is um, medieval times. And the only one, the only medieval times in Canada is here in the city that I live in, in Toronto. It's probably the closest I've come. And medieval times is fantastic. If you're ever looking for a place to take a significant other or a sibling or a friend for their birthday, you literally can't do better than medieval times, bro. Let's go. Uh, have you ever been to Yellowstone National Park? If not, I highly recommend it. Why so, Gear Grinder? I've never been before. My dad just retired from his teaching career after 36 years. That's fucking sick, man. I wish we had a Renaissance Fair in my area. They sound so cool. Medieval Times was fun, though. Yeah, fuck yeah. I work on a forge in Wisconsin. If you ever want to come visit, hit me up. Holy shit, you work at a forge? Dude, that's sick. When are we going to have another UFO stream? We should have another UFO stream, Dark Row. That's a good point. I might take a day off of streaming to, to work on uh, coming up with another good comprehensive UFO stream. Uh, what do you have a favorite movie or game soundtrack? My favorite game soundtrack, I can tell you immediately. No competition, The Elder Scrolls 3 Oblivion. No, The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Elder Scrolls 3 is Morrowind. The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. The Oblivion soundtrack, nothing comes close, dude. That fucking soundtrack is magical. Favorite movie soundtrack? Oh, that's a tough one, man. I do love the Drive soundtrack. I also love the Braveheart soundtrack, and I also love the Lord of the Rings soundtracks. Those are those are fucking bangers. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, scrolling. You officially got me addicted to this game, and I officially hate you now. Dude, isn't it great? It's a great game, man. Okay, um, but um, but um, scrolling. Can you tell a story with a happy ending? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll tell you a story with a happy ending. Give me some time to think about one. Uh, scrolling, more questions, more questions, more questions. Um, if you had to sacrifice one of your major four appendages, arms and legs, get your wiener out, which one would you remove? One of my major four appendages. Uh, probably a leg. I'll just slap, slap a bionic one on that bad boy, you know? Probably be okay with that. Um, okay, scrolling. Uh, if you had to reincarnate into a new life, when and where would you choose to, uh, restart? Well, if humanity can, uh, survive the next few hundred years of our technological infancy without destroying ourselves with uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, I would love to, uh, I'd love to reincarnate in like 250 years when we have fully bionic bodies and we're teleporting our consciousnesses across space via streams of light and visiting the Andromeda galaxy and shit like that. So 250 years from now, and I wouldn't do, be too particular about who or where I was. I think it would just be cool to see what the fuck humanity's up to at that point. Okay, let's see what I can buy here. Leaf combo. Nice. Okay. X 
Mitch Lundstrom. Now we're talking, baby. Motherfucking combo time. Okay, more questions, more questions. Um, let's see here. Uh, if you could be in any horror movie or series and survive, which would it be? Alien. Dude, Prometheus. When she fucking... I, I was just about to spoil the entire movie. Uh, Prometheus. I would love to survive in the alien universe, dude. That fucking universe is crazy, man. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba How's Matt been doing? Fuck, fuck you, Matt. Matt's fine. Um... Would you rather fart every time you come or come every time you fart? I mean, I guess I'd rather come every time I fart because, uh, you know, that would make intimacy pretty weird. Whereas every time you fart, you get two different kinds of pleasure. Uh, that'd probably be my answer. Hope that makes sense. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get caught up on Streamlabs here, chat, okay? Sardonic Sage, thanks again for the 14 months. Waffle Air Force, thank you for the eight months, my friend. I really appreciate you coming back. Mr. Critic, thanks for the half of a year. Human Tripod, 16 months. Hey, thanks for coming back, my amigo. Chris, thanks for gifting that sub to Emote Only, who then came in with five gifted subs. Fucking crazy. Parker Pup, 200 bits. Um, hey. Hey, Parker Pup, thank you for sharing your story and thank you for the 200 bits. And I'm really glad to know that you you took the same sort of steps that I did and you're also uh, taking some time to sort out uh, what you got going on upstairs. Good for you. Good for you, Parker Pup. Super Papa Frequalizer, thanks for the 38 months. Wild Joker, 40 months. That's like four years, I think. Yeah, four times 10, I'll buy it. Uh, Zerfer Elite, thank you for the 11 months. Milton is literally the best. I'm the worst, and it makes me feel better being here because Milton is a wise man. Eccentric, but wise. You're not the worst. What are you talking about? You are you are doing absolutely fine, okay? Society has convinced you that there's something wrong with you, but there's nothing. Spoiler alert, there's nothing wrong with you, all right? Uh, dude in a fucking robe, dude in a robe. Four years, baby. Um, it's with great sadness that I'll have to cancel my sub. My wife and I are expecting our first child, a boy in late August. She'll be taking a year off to work and expenses are very tight. I'll continue to lurk as often as I can. Dude in a robe. Hey, my friend, I'm so happy to have you here, okay? Congratulations on the incredibly exciting news. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, I can't wait for... Uh, you know, your kid to hit 2021 and uh, start working and generating an income. And then both of you can come back and subscribe <laughs> in 20 years. Right, mods? Right, mods? We're going to be streaming and modding full time in 20 years from now. Right, mods? Um, <laughs> Carl Rez Dog, thanks for the 57 months, dude. That's a long fucking time. My monthly child support payment. Love you, bitch. <laughs> Mr. T-Pig, medalist, come on, man. <laughs> Danger Fluff, thank you for the 16 months tier two support. How you doing, Danger Fluff? Great to see ya. Uh, Redbeard, thank you for the 35. Milton said my name during the beep, just saying. The person whose name I said during the bleep knows exactly who they are, okay? Uh, increases combo. Yeah, baby, more combo. Give me more. More, give me more. More, give me more. More. Um, di Diified, thanks for the 21 months. How you doing, dude? Chalk and Bakken. How you doing, Chalk and Box? 20 months, baby. Good to see you. Captain Sharpie, thank you for the 27 months of support. The Stray, thank you for the 12 months. Boondocks Kid, thank you for the 28, dude. Been a while since I've been able to watch. Glad to have you here, Boondocks Kid. I hope life is treating you okay, my friend. Glimmer Gunner, thanks to Anna Bananas for the gifted sub. Toxic Anna Bananas. All right, next question. Let's see, next question, next question. Can you suck the chrome off of a trailer hitch? I can get quite a, quite a strong suck going. I can get quite a strong suck going, but you know what I do even better than suck? I blow. So if you have a Humble North account <laughs> and you want to get 250 gems for free, then just head on over to Humble North and redeem the code Milton Loves Blowing to get 250 gems for free. Did you end up doing any more of those awesome animated artworks? Those were so good. Credulous? All I'm going to say, chat, Stay tuned this Christmas for something very exciting. That's all I can say. 
That's all I can say, okay? I can't go into any more detail than that, but all I'm gonna say is stay tuned around Christmas time for something that I think you are gonna find very fucking exciting, chat. Christmas, it's June still, I know. I know, I've got some long burn plans in the works, okay? Would you insert yourself into GTA RP but as Kiki's uncle? What the fuck? I'm 33. How would I be Kiki's uncle? I guess because, I mean, I guess if Kiki's 18 and I had a kid when I was 15, maybe? Still, Jesus, come on. Um, okay, who inspires me the most? Who inspires me the most? Uh, okay, I know this is a stupid fucking answer and I'm probably gonna get some eye rolls for it, but genuinely I am inspired by just about everybody that I meet. I've been, ins I've been so inspired by um, just completely random people, even people in chat, even people literally from this community have said some things so profound that uh, they've, they've permanently changed the way that I look at certain things in my life for the better. So I feel very lucky because I have the ability to be inspired by a lot of different people, I guess. But if you really wanted to twist my arm into some of the people who I think are particularly inspiring for me personally, I would say Ram Das is one of them, not rammed ass. Ram Doss, not rammed ass, Ram Doss, uh, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Hanapola Gunaratana, uh, John Cabot Zinn. Those are some of the people. <laughs> rammed ass, no. Ramstein, no. Although I do love Ramstein. Here come prisoner. Here come prisoner. Love Ramstein. As you can tell by my hair. Um, okay. All right. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Darkrow says, no one tells me that I deserve to be happy except you. Thank you so much for being a big part of my life. Hey, and I mean it when I fucking say it. Seriously. I don't, I don't ever want it to become just one of those Hallmark things where it's like, oh yeah, great. And the, the darkness is always darkest before the dawn. And I really mean it. I really mean it that uh, every single one of you listening to this, and I know a lot of you have probably struggled for a while to uh, feel a lasting sense of happiness, but not only do you deserve to be happy, but I genuinely believe that you will be. And I can't say it's gonna happen tomorrow and I can't say it's gonna happen next week and I can't even say it's gonna happen next month. But uh, I genuinely believe that every single person listening to this right now, you, you, not, not anyone else. I'm not talking to anyone else. I'm talking to you, you motherfucker, you right there. Deserve to be happy and you will be. It's gonna take some time and the world needs to seriously sort out some of its fucking shit. But you deserve to be happy and I genuinely believe that you will be. You're doing the right thing by just waking up and continuing to carry the torch every day. It's all you need to do. Uh, but I genuinely believe that you will be happy in the long run, okay? I mean, it. and you deserve it. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You might think that you've made mistakes in your life and you've made some wrong choices and all the rest. That's okay, we all make mistakes. I've made tons of mistakes in my life. I'm probably gonna make tons more mistakes in my life. Doesn't matter, you still deserve to be happy, okay? Um, all right, now let's see here. Uh, more questions, more questions. Have you ever watched the Theory of Everything channel on YouTube? What are your thoughts? I haven't. Do you recommend it, Killer B? I'll have to check it out. Favorite video game of all time? Red Dead Redemption 2. That favorite game of mine that we've beat multiple times. Remember that game chat that we beat a lot of times? Red Dead 2, remember? Um, love it, dude. Love, love Red Dead 2. Uh, <laughs> finish it, bitch! Did you just call me a B word? J reality, you don't call. You don't call a vet. Do you see this? Do you see this? I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. You don't call me bitch. You don't ever call me bitch. I call you bitch. You're the bitch, bitch. You're the bitch, bitch. Okay. Select Star from says, I just used the code Milton Loves Blowing and got my free gems. Thanks, Milton, loving this game. I'm so glad that you did. <laughs> Chat, go and redeem it. You just Google Humble North Games Leaf Blower Revolution and you can redeem the code Milton Loves Blowing for 250 free gems. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see here. More questions. Read or listen to any good books recently? I'm always looking to add to my to read list. Yes, Voice of Grog. I can recommend three books right off the top of my head uh, that I think are uh, really, really good. A New Earth by uh, Eckhart Tolle. Uh, Polishing Your Mirror by Ram Dass. And Eight Mindful Steps to Happiness by Hanapola Gunaratana. Those would be three that I would recommend off the top of my head. I I'm not gonna lie, chat. I okay. This is this is probably gonna this is probably gonna produce some decolons. I used to think all books were bullshit. I used to think they were just bullshit. I thought some books were okay, like Harry Potter and stuff like that. Uh, but when it came to like self help books, I thought they were all bullshit, fucking money grab, lying garbage. Just someone trying to make 19 bucks off of you to fill a book with platitudinous garbage like, ah, uh, uh, just, are you feeling bad? Just feel better. And, uh, you know, add more folic acid to your diet and try our two week body cleanse to feel better. And I just thought it was garbage. And then I started reading some of these books and they have, they have absolutely changed my life. So I'm now a big believer. I'm a big believer. I'm a big Tim Biebs believer in, uh, in the power of, of books, genuinely. Um, Zerfer Elite says, when will Canada invade the US and can you bring free healthcare with you? I'm gonna just clear something up for you right now, okay? Uh, I've said this before. So um, a bunch of my friends went down to train at Fort Worth, Texas. And at Fort Worth, Texas, there are 160,000 active duty soldiers. 160,000 active duty soldiers in Fort Worth, Texas. 160,000 in this base. Canada has 40,000 soldiers in total. <laughs> My base had like 800 soldiers in total. So I don't think we can't invade this. We can't even invade Fort Worth. If we tried to take over Fort Worth, Texas, we'd be outnumbered four to one. My fucking, the, my, my C6 machine gun? Is this still the right photo? Hold on. Fuck, no, damn it. If you're, hey, Humble North, if you're watching, that was not, that's not part of the sponsored stream. Just pretend you didn't see that. That's not the fucking thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, no, chat, get, get chat. Hey, motherfuckers! Someone call for me! <laughs> um, where is it here? Is this the right one? No, I don't have the picture up anymore. Anyways, uh, my fucking C6 was made in like 18 or <laughs> 1858. So we would be very outmatched, undeniably. Uh, okay, scrolling, scrolling. Next question, next question. Let's see here. Hey, thank you. Seriously appreciate your input and the talk from community members. This place legitimately feels like a safe, comfortable, fun environment. And the people that congregate around you are amazing. Chat, you rock. Thanks, homies. Unimoose, Phil, I couldn't have said it better myself. Seriously. I fucking love hanging out with chat. I love it. We're playing Leaf Blower Revolution. We're just walking around blowing leaves and I'm having a fucking amazing time. I fucking love hanging out with chat and talking and shooting the shit. I love it. It's one of my favorite fucking things to do is to spend time with you, chat. Just talk. Just talk about life and everything. I love it. Makes me so happy. Especially over the past couple of years where I felt my mental health start to take a serious decline. One of the things that always, always makes me feel happy is hanging out with you guys and talking to you. Hanging out with you folks and talking to you. Still working on my inclusive language. I try not to say things like you guys. I try to say things like you folks. I want to be fully inclusive. You friends. Okay, so what can we do now? What can we buy now? We're gonna buy platinum leaves. Bought. Sick. All right. How do we get to... Trees can drop platinum leaves in certain areas, which you have to unlock first. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wonder how we unlock. I wonder how we unlock it. Um, y'all, y'all means you all. Listen, okay. Maybell says y'all. Milty doesn't say y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, I listened to a Milton and Bop Bop podcast, dude. 
We should just name the podcast like The Bop Bops. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Bop Bops. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Next question. Next question. The Bops. <laughs> or just Bop with a little, with a superscript too for Bop squared. Bop Bop. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Next question. Next question. Uh, are we going to get more meditation streams soon? You know, okay, so here, I'm going to tell you honestly why I stopped doing the meditation streams. Can I tell you why I stopped doing the meditation streams? I stopped doing the meditation streams because I realized that I was starting to care more about whether or not I was streaming the meditation streams than whether or not I was meditating. Uh, John Cabot Zinn has an expression that I really liked and I actually very much agreed with. He said, uh, if you're looking at getting into meditating, you should meditate for a full year straight before you even tell anyone. Because often people will get so wound up, will get so caught up in you know celebrating and telling people that they're meditating that they stop meditating. They get the dopamine hit from saying, I'm a meditator and I meditate, that they stop meditating. So I've decided to try to to introspect and um, make my meditative practice something that I'm using as a tool for personal development before I can then sort of uh, start making it a more community-based thing. I want to make sure that I'm using it as the opportunity to do the work that I need to do internally. And then once I've started to make some progress there and turn it into a regular thing, then I want to integrate it into the community. Uh, okay. It's absolutely gorgeous, uh, and it's a whole experience. Oh, the Renaissance Fair. Uh, oh, no, sorry. You're talking about Yellowstone National Park. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's a whole experience. You think it's just any other national park, but the things that you'll see are just amazing. Fairy Falls is where I was proposed to. I'm going to have to remember that, Gear Grinder. I'm going to remember that. Do you drink tea, hot or cold, and what blend? I actually like most teas except green. If you drink green tea and you like green tea, fuck you. Green tea is just gross dirt water. I like every other kind of tea. Green tea, gross dirt water. Who drinks it? No, <laughs> no, chat. No, it's gross. There's no way anyone listening to this actually enjoys green tea. Best case, Ontario? Unlock areas and discover new leaves. Leaf print machines and print and collect leaves automatically. Hide it from the tax authorities. <laughs> Unlock converters. It's not a ritual, but a really fancy and useful machine. <laughs> okay. Uh, unlock areas. We're going to unlock areas. And uh, auto upgrade leaf marketing. Leaf mar marketing upgrades will be purchased automatically. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we don't want that necessarily. This is fucking cool though. 100% more basic leaf rewards. Oh. 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 Okay. We're gonna do that. Oh yeah, now we're talking some serious fucking leaves, chat. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. V. Home garden. You're here. Neighbor's garden. Chat, we're going to the neighbor's garden. Mountain. <gasps> Pog, dude. Okay, we're going to go to the neighbor's garden first. We're cleaning the neighbor's garden to be nice, okay? Hey, get out of here, frog. Get out. Get the, get the fuck out. Get out of here. Get the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Nuclear leaf blower. Get the, get the fuck out of here. What are we supposed to do with those? Oh. Platinum leaves. What kind of tree drops platinum leaves? Fuck you, animals. And, and, and fuck you, bee. Fuck bees, dude. Fuck honeybees. If I could shit into every honeybee's nest. No. No, Chad. Don't be like that, okay? <laughs> I'm just joshing. I'm just joshing, okay? Um... Okay, if Kirby vored you, what powers would he gain and what would he look like? If Kirby vored me, he'd have the ability to be very sad for no reason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if Kirby vored me, Kirby would have... If Kirby vored me, he would have the ability to eat an entire large pizza. I guess if Kirby already has that ability. Shit, I don't know. 
the ability to play the fight pipe, I think, probably. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Have you ever had a ghost experience? I haven't, but I've had a bizarre UFO experience. And by that, I just mean an unidentified object in the air that I didn't know what it was. It was, uh... Oh, hold on now. Yeah. Bye, Max. Nice. Okay. There we go. This should help. Now we're making some serious fucking leafage. Um, so when I was, uh, when I was in the army, I was driving to work one day and, uh, it was about six in the morning. And as I was uh, on the highway approaching my base, um, I would say that I, at this point I was still pretty far away from the base. I was still probably 50 miles from the base. I saw what I thought was a street light. Like it was like an orange glow. Um, but, uh, it, um, it was going up into the clouds. And, uh, uh, so when, as I got like closer to where it was, I realized that it wasn't a street light. It was the same color as a street light, but it wasn't a street light. Cause it was, there was no street lights around. And then I saw that it was going up into the clouds, which was also weird. And it was very bright, a really bright orange orb. And then it went up above the, uh, up above the cloud cover and disappeared into the sky. It was really weird. I have no idea what it was, but I was by a military base. So it could have been a helicopter. It could have been a, a flare or something like that. That's the closest that I've come though. <sighs> the closest that I came. Um, okay. We're still saving up. We're still saving up. Um, and how are we doing here? What do we have? We got 3.8 milli. 3.8 milli. Nice. Okay, trees are maxed. Buy some more nuclear fuel. Um, and with our gold leaves, buy max. Buy max. Buy max. Buy max. Buy. Is that max? Buy. We'll get some combos going too. Um, okay, now let's see here. Next question, next question. Would you want your consciousness uploaded uh, to the cloud in the future? I, chat, have done a lot of research about consciousness and I'm actually thinking about making a YouTube video about it sometime. And it's gonna be a long YouTube video. It's probably gonna be an hour or two because I want to synthesize a lot of the data and the information that you want a little sneak peek into my study of consciousness chat. Would you like a little sneak peek chat? Nodders or nopers? You want a little sneak peek into what I've been researching about consciousness? It's cool. It's not, it's not going to be spoopy. It's interesting more than anything else. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'll give you the, I'll give you the sort of little shorthand version here. Cause I think it's kind of interesting. So, um, the way it all started was back in the fall of 2019. I would just happened to be watching a YouTube video by John Cabot Zinn. He was doing a talk at Google headquarters and he was like walking them through a stress reduction mindfulness exercise. And, um, he, uh, at one point he's saying like, oh, you know, close your eyes and allow yourself to relax and just settle wherever you are. And hold on, you know what? In fact, I'm gonna walk you through the same exercise. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn off my air conditioner. We're about to get fucking sweaty in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, here's how it goes. So wherever you are, if it's safe to do so, and you're not at work or driving or something else, allow yourself to close your eyes. Just close your eyes wherever you're sitting and just allow yourself to relax. Just relax. Just breathing in and breathing out. That's it. You don't have to try to breathe slowly or breathe quickly. Just breathe in and out. And as you're here, 
sitting, relaxing, eyes closed, and just breathing in and out just naturally. Allow yourself to become aware that you know you're breathing without thinking about it, without actively thinking, I am breathing in and out. You know that you're breathing. You're aware that you're breathing. There's a part of you that is simply aware that what you're doing is breathing without needing to conceptualize it or think about it. You are simply aware that you're breathing. That's it. Now you can open up your eyes. That was the part in the video where I went, holy fuck. Uh, yeah, there is like, I am aware that I'm breathing. That is sort of the nature of consciousness. That's the nature of awareness is being alive and being aware without needing to add in any conceptual thinking. You don't need to label it. You don't need to categorize it. But even in the absence of thinking, even in the absence of thinking or labeling and all that, you're still very much alive and you're aware. That's sort of the nature of consciousness. And I started thinking, holy shit, it's true, but I've never heard it described like that before. And um, so anyways, so... I wanted to I wanted to know everything that I could about consciousness and I started coming up with some really I started looking at some really interesting scientific experiments because you know me chat the eternal turtle scientist I don't want to um I don't want to be told stories or anything like that I want to know what are things that I can tangibly test by the felt presence of firsthand experience what can I consult scientific data about and so I wanted to know, well, what is the nature of consciousness then? And I basically, I think that is what we are at our core identity. If you were to get to the absolute basement layer of who you are, stripping away all the superficial layers of the roles that you play and social and cultural expectations and labels and who and what your family expects you to be and your friends and everything you were taught in school and all the rest. When you strip all of that away by doing something like simply sitting and breathing in and breathing out, um, you, you get more in touch with your, with your core identity, which is this, this conscious, peaceful, aware entity, this indwelling field of consciousness the experiencer when you get rid of everything your name your occupation your age your identity your sexuality uh you know your biases what you think is important and unimportant and the things you take seriously and don't take seriously when you get rid of all of that when you strip away all of that what's left it's awareness it's you being aware and so i started thinking interesting well where, where, what, do, what, where does this consciousness come from? And so I wanted to know, is there, do we know what part of the brain this consciousness comes from? And chat, as someone who has been studying science pretty heavily from age 18 to, I don't know, 27, I guess. Uh, and I like to still think that I'm a scientist since then. And I, I keep up, I try to keep abreast of uh, scientific literature and all the rest. Um, I really genuinely, in my most scientific of hearts, I don't think consciousness comes from the brain. I think that um, because you cannot describe consciousness using any of the fundamental forces of the universe, you can't use gravity, strong nuclear, weak nuclear, electromagnetism. You can't describe its charge, its state, its spin, its mass. You can't use any of that to describe consciousness. I think it's a fundamental force of the universe. I think it's like uh, gravity. And so I think that um, consciousness shows up where, when you have integrated um, neural networks. The more, uh, it, like it's sort, of a, it's sort of a branch of integrated information theory. I think when you have um, increasingly integrated neural networks, consciousness shows up sort of like when you have increasing accumulations of mass gravity manifests so i think consciousness is to integrated neural networks what gravity is to mass when you have a bunch of mass in one area you get gravity when you have a bunch of neural inf neural networks in one area you get consciousness and i don't think it's tied to the brain and you want to know why i don't think it's tied to the brain 
I don't think it's tied to the brain because uh, this this for me is like the smoking gun. Um, split brain experiments. So uh, earlier in the 20th century, uh, people that had really, really serious seizure disorders um, would often have their corpus callosum cut. So the corpus callosum is a membrane that joins the two halves of the brain. It's 46 billion neuronal endings. And um, this, uh, pr this experimental procedure to try to stop the epileptic storm from going across the brain, they would cut the brain in half. And after cutting the brain in half, people that had their brains cut in half reported no change in their conscious experience. How could that be possible? If consciousness and if you and your personality are purely tied to your brain, how could you have no change in your conscious experience after having your brain literally cut in half? That's fucking crazy. That's crazy to me. So that really made me start thinking to see that people could have their brains cut in half um, and have no change in their conscious experience really made me start thinking that maybe the brain is more like a, more like a TV and consciousness is like the TV signal. When you destroy the TV, you don't destroy the TV signal. There's just no more TV at that spot to pick up the TV signal. Um, so anyways, I am of the I'm of the opinion that that co I think consciousness is um, uh, a fundamental force of the universe. And here's another thing that I think is really, really interesting. And I've done a ton of reading about this, a ton of reading. And I try to be as scientific and objective about it as possible is near death experiences. So to give you some idea of what kind of near death experiences I'm talking about, I'm talking specifically about the people who have like severe cardiac arrest and they're connected to an EEG in the hospital and they are registered as having a zero brain activity. And the reason that I find those compelling is I don't, I don't care so much about the specific content. You know, when you see, Oh, you know, Jane Doe had a heart attack and was on the operating table and she claims that she was hovering above the bed and watching herself be operated on and all the rest. I, I, I don't necessarily put any stock in that one way or the other. The thing that I think is really interesting is that we can have people that enter an altered state of consciousness um, in a near-death experience, and they report that it is an unbelievably clear, lucid, very vivid experience where they you know, have a life review and they see loved ones and they, they, they come back and a lot of them have PTSD because they say that the near death experience felt more real than reality. And so the reason that I find that compelling is because when people are on the operating table and they've had a massive cardiac arrest and their brains have turned off, they have zero activity in the parts of the brain responsible for forming memories, recalling memories, self-awareness, understanding sentence syntax and structure, understanding object permanence, recognizing, categorizing, and, uh, you know, like 3D spatial awareness. All the parts of the brain responsible for that are offline. And so some people will say, yeah, but science shows that people that are dying might have large amounts of DMT released in the brain. A fucking DMT experience is nothing like what these people are talking about. Uh, and if the argument was to be made, all those people are experiencing is the symptoms of a dying brain. So they're having these weird experiences because their brains are dying. Um, that doesn't account for it. It would be nonsensical experiences. If all the axons and shit like that in your brain were, um, were dying, you wouldn't have lucid conversations and remember entire landscapes and shit like that. It would be a bunch of disjointed, nonsensical memories all mushed together. And that's not what people have. So that makes me wonder, well, how can a person have a vivid conscious experience if the brain is responsible for consciousness? How could it be possible? How could it be possible that a person can have a very vivid, lucid, clear conscious experience when all the parts of the brain responsible for consciousness allegedly are offline. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and um, hold on. There was another one that I was going to say. It was connected to that. Oh, yes. And then another big one for me, chat. Another big one is um, 
memories. How is it that the, how is it that a 75 year old could have a crystal clear memory of riding a red wagon on the street in front of their childhood home, um, you know, with very, very good clarity, if every cell in the human body is replaced every seven years, and if the only way to store a memory like that is in, if, if your brain is just an electric meatball, and so it's being stored using memory trace proteins and electric capacitors, how could you maintain every memory of everything you've ever done in your entire life with such perfect clarity for 70 years? I just don't think you can because I think that, so to summarize, I think that consciousness is like gravity with memories. I think that the nature of who we are is like gravity, but the ability to store and maintain and recall memories and to go one step beyond that chat, to go one step beyond that. I think that because if a person sits in a meditative state, free from active and compulsive thinking, simply sitting there and being aware, you'll notice we're very similar. One person meditating looks a lot like another person meditating, regardless of the entire complex background that they might have. Um, it looks very similar. When a person is just existing in that state of awareness, in the absence of thinking and labels and I'm the main character and here's my story. Uh, so I think that we are all like manifestations of this same field of consciousness. I think it's kind of like a band and we're all fancy little twists and ties in this band of consciousness. But underneath it all, we sort of draw from the same fundamental force. So anyways, <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED talk. My research continues going. My 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 research is ongoing. The good news is, uh, for anyone who's been listening to this, don't get weirded out by it. Uh, you know, I'm just one person, and this is just my opinion. But for me, it's a profoundly positive one. And I think when when you take all the evidence uh, together, I think I think there's something much more to consciousness than uh, than we give credit for. And if you doubt if you doubt whether or not that's true. If and when it becomes legal, and obviously, uh, well, just listen to the reports of people that have taken uh, heroic doses of psychedelics. And if you have the ability to safely and legally do that at any point in the future under the guise of a trained pharmacotherapist and all the rest, a heroic dose of psychedelics will make it very clear to you that there's more shit going on there, dude. Do you believe that we have any kind of access to that consciousness after our bodies die? I, it, it's a, it's a personal thing. I really do. And it's for me, it's like a scientific thing. It's, I, I don't imbue any like hope. All I want to know is the truth. Uh, whatever the truth is as bleak or as pet, as pessimistic or as optimistic as it is. I don't care. I just want to know the truth. And I genuinely hundy P believe that it does. Assuming you heard of Gnosticism. I don't actually know too much about Gnosticism. Um, and here's the other one here. So here's the other piece of evidence that I just want to, I just want to throw this last one out there. Cause this is, a, I just think it's really interesting. Here it goes. Okay. So, uh, I, I, I think I've told you about this before chat, but this again, to me just shouts that there's something that we don't, we don't quite understand. And that is Otto Gansfeld experiments. Um, sometime, well, maybe we'll watch a video on it. There's a really, really interesting YouTube video about um, Gansfeld experiments. So basically, uh, back in the mid 1900s, a researcher wanted to know if telepathy was real or if it was possible. Eh, he didn't know, but he wanted to try to set up an experiment to see if it was possible. And so this is what he would do. He would get Jane and Bob. Bob would sit in the like lab room on a chair on an incline, there would be a low level red light in the room and he'd be wearing um, goggles that look like half ping pong balls. They're designed to sort of put you in a very neutral state where you can't make out shapes and whatever else. And then they would put a um, uh, white noise generator in over the ear headphones. And this puts a person in any person puts them into what's called the Gansfeld state, uh, which I think means whole field. 
I might have screwed that up. Anyways, um, the Gansfeld state is where you're sort of between wakefulness and dreaming. You're not quite either. You're sort of in this in-between zone. And the theory was that maybe a person would be more receptive to telepathy in this, in this setting. Then they would go to Jane and there would be this warehouse filled with thousands and thousands of folders. Each folder would contain four random photographs. And the photographs are designed to be as different from each other as possible. Maybe it would be a picture of the Eiffel Tower, a picture of an airplane, uh, a single um, frame of a Ben and Jerry cartoon, and uh, the painting of the Mona Lisa. And um, through a random number generator, uh, they would select a photo and give it to Jane. Let's say it was a single frame from the Ben and Jerry cartoon. And then they would tell Jane, okay, Jane, using your, your mental prowess, focus on trying to send this picture of this frame from the Ben and Jerry cartoon to Bob, who's sitting there in the Gansfeld state. And um, you can probably tell that if, 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 you know, it's just random chance, then Bob has got a 25% chance of um, getting this right. Well, I'll, sorry, I, I got ahead of myself. So for 30 minutes, they would ask Bob, what pick, what, what are you picking up? What do you think Jane is trying to send you? And then Bob would describe what he was getting the mental impressions of. And after 30 minutes, uh, they would then give Bob um, a replica of the folder of four photos, Ben and Jerry, Mona Lisa, Eiffel Tower, airplane, or whatever they were. And they'd say, which one do you think Jane was trying to send you? And if it was purely random chance, you would have a 25% chance of getting it right. Sort of like if I was to flip a coin, um, uh, you know, 50,000 times, Ben and Jerry, is that not the right one? What, who is it? Ben and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, whatever the fuck. Well, Ben and Jerry, what, whatever, dude. You don't know the real names. They're, they're, it's a cat and a mouse. How do you know they got their names right? You don't. It might have been Ben and Jerry for all you fucking know. Maybe his name at birth was Ben instead of Tom. <laughs> Anyways, so if I flipped a coin 50,000 times, you would expect me to have a 50-50 chance of getting heads or tails or 49.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Uh, have you ever played Control? The game revolves around the Federal Bureau of Control, FBC, a secret U.S. government agency tasked with uh, containing and studying phenomena that violate the laws of reality. An insane amount of lore. I think you'd really like it. I've heard a lot of people mention it, so we should play it sometime, maybe. Um, uh, the other thing that I think is really interesting, chat, is last year the CIA came out and admitted that their remote viewing program, which works sort of the same way as the Gansfeld that I just explained, produced information that could not be explained statistically. Like they got information that went beyond random chance, but they stopped doing the program because they just, it was like, if you have a if you have a 50 50 chance of getting it right or wrong and now you just have a a 60 40 chance it wasn't good enough for it to be of any tactical worth but they flat out admitted that their remote viewing program was getting anomalous data it just wasn't good enough to be used tactically so i'm telling you chat there's something fucking crazy going on there i live a two-hour drive away from a village called is that the one that that uh, weatherman produced perfectly? What is Neural Johnson saying now? The cells are replaced with the same thing about a black coffee and absolutely fuck you, Neural Johnson. Neural Johnson, don't shit talk yourself, okay? Come on, man. Come on, bro. Okay, so we're getting more leaves. Thank you. Unlock platinum apples. Oh, yeah, baby. Slap the enemies. Increases trout slap damage by 10%. Oh, that's what you need it for. Okay, so we need 2.5 million gold leaves. What is this? With the shovel, you can dig up the ground below. Press click to dig. What am I digging up? What am I digging here? I'm going to dig you, bug. Boom, get dug, bitch. Okay, well, I don't like that anymore. I don't like that anymore. What is this? Airplane turbine. Worth it. <laughs> I'm just walking around holding an airplane turbine. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, interesting idea, Milton. I've never thought about it like this. If someone's brain got cut in half, if you separate hemispheres, maybe no change. But what if you could have incredibly small hands? What the fuck is that? Is that a Neural Johnson quote chat? What is that shit? What is that? Get it the fuck out of my face. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to get caught up on Streamlabs now that you've joined me for my fucking half hour talk about consciousness i appreciate you entertaining me chat i i love researching this kind of shit i think i might make a youtube video where i can provide some of the statistical data and describe it in a little bit more detail but i appreciate you humoring me uh nuclear fuel oh yeah baby and in here um oh yeah Increases max combo by the max. By the max. By the max, baby. Fuck yes. 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 There we go. Now we're gonna start making some serious fucking leaves, dude. Consciousness and influence among humans is definitely possible. I've experimented with that with friends as well. Helped others get out of immediate car accidents, help them get out of sticky situations and other things like that. Sharing consciousness and other things are possible as well. Past, present environments and emotions, but not so much future things. One of the, one of the things that also made me think like, what the fuck? There's something really crazy and anomalous going on was um, there were two Siamese twins. I, that's actually not the preferred nomenclature. I apologize. I believe the preferred nomenclature is conjoined twins. There were conjoined twins that were joined at the brain. At the brain. Um, I should show you a video of it. Hold on. I'm going to show you chat. I'm going to show you this fucking, I'm going to show you this fucking video. I'm going to show you this fucking video chat, dude. Fuck. I'm going to show you this fucking video, dude. Chat, fuck. Okay. This is going to, this is, you're going to be, you're going to get the heebie-jeebies here, chat. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
stop the music for a second. So this is, these are two um, conjoined twins joined at the brain. Uh, and the thing that I think is so wild about this, and this is what makes me think that they're sending information, um, you know, via the consciousness, and it's just easier because their brains are so close together. These twins, I'll show you. I'm, I'm going to let the video do its, do its talking for it. Okay, here we go. Unique in another important respect. Not only were their skulls inoperably connected, so were their brains. The first hint that Krista and Tatiana shared a mental connection came within just hours of their birth. When one of the twins was given a pacifier, the other would also stop crying. Later scans revealed that the twins' brains were joined by what was termed a thalamic bridge. The team of surgeons who delivered the girls predicted only a low chance of their survival, and yet against all of the odds, these unique twins survived, and fascinatingly can now articulate the true extent of the connection they share. Krista and Tatiana can move each other's limbs, see through each other's eyes, sense each other's bodies, and even share private thoughts. When Krista is presented with an object, out of view of her sister, Tatiana also perceives the object Listen to this. and can say what it is. One twin can tell when the other is hungry or needs something, and the two often engage in a form of mental communication, which they call talking in our heads. Krista, what's mommy holding? Uh, a, a piggy. That's right, mommy's holding the piggy. Isn't that fucking wild, chat? Despite Dude. their mental connection, <laughs> the two sisters retain their individuality. Krista is energetic and outgoing, while Tatiana is more reserved and introverted. <laughs> so anyway, so when I see things like that, how could it be that one one twin's visual information, that that electrical impulse would be so perfectly maintained that it would travel through the other brain into the occipital lobe of the other twin to be interpreted? I just don't buy it. I think there's something more fundamental going on. So anyways. Pretty crazy shit. I think it's really exciting, and I think uh, I think we're getting to a stage uh, in our sort of scientific uh, uh, discovery where um, uh, you know these these questions are starting to get looked at uh, a little more closely. And there's a lot of a lot of neurophysicists who uh, who are starting to consider the concept that consciousness might just be another force in the in the universe, like gravity and electromagnetism magnetism and shit like that. So pretty crazy man and it's very optimistic it's very positive i think um anyways pretty pretty fucking wild that that video right there i'm gonna show you um i'm gonna show you some more of those videos sometime because uh that guy makes some of the best videos i've ever seen talking about consciousness and existence and stuff like that it's fucking crazy it'll be a perfect dream uh, perfect stream to have a little bit of the not gawking i'm talking about yaz cabbage and uh we'll watch some of those videos and uh you can see what you think no not tiny penises <laughs> okay um, kk monsoon thanks for the 17 months kk monsoon how are you hey i hope work is going well kk yeah hey i hope work is going well for you all right um Porker the Great. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Chat, put your gawks in chat for Porker the Great. <laughs> Gorf my rent. <laughs> Gorf my rent. <laughs> that fucking expression, dude. <laughs> Milton subs when they see unsucked micro penis. Medalist, don't fucking encourage Jay. Don't encourage him. <laughs> um, being, <clears throat> being rad, thanks for the three years, dude. Chill streams with Milty are the best. I love, I love chill streams with chat. Just hanging out with chat, you being chill. Is that an unsucked micro cock? <laughs> Damn it. I cut my fucking brain, Skip. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Meryl Johnson. Uh, Minato, thanks for the $3. Um, so they went to the Joint Reserve Base or the JRB, the Jerb. I've been there before when I was in JROTC in high school. I don't know, what, what is that? What is that, Minato? What does that mean? When's the last time that you reset for coins? Um, quite a while ago. Is it is it encourageable to reset more often than that? 
fine. Fine. I'll fucking reset it again. Fuck. I don't want to, but I'll fucking reset it again if you're going to bully me about it. Fuck. Um... Okay, we'll get more prestige coins then. Milton, you need to be spending your leaves constantly. Uh, why don't you play Leaf Blower Revolution the way that you want to play Leaf Blower Revolution? And I'll play Leaf Blower Revolution the way that I want to play Leaf Blower Revolution. How does that fucking sound? Huh? Does that sound fucking good to you? Printers are pog, by the way. Are they? Okay. No, don't, <gasps> don't decolon me. I, they, no, listen. No. Hey, the select star from was being a friggin' bully. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we have here? How should we spend some fucking leaves, dude? Okay. We're making shitloads of leaves now. All right, fine. We'll prestige again. Fine. We'll fucking pre fine. We'll fucking prestige again, dude. If you're going to be a jerk about it. Uh, 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 Where is it? Where's the portal? Prestige. All right. We've prestiged again. Now we're going to be making sick ass leaves, dude. Ludicrous Merchant, thanks for the year and a half, dude. Centic, how you doing, Centic? Great to see you. Thanks for the 30 freaking months, my friend. Okay, what else can I make here? Unlock leaf print machines, print and collect leaves automatically. Hide it from the tax authorities. Okay. Fine, we'll buy a fucking leaf printer. <laughs> What else can I get? Unlock converters. We'll get a converter too. I don't even know what that is. But we'll buy it. Oh, I see. Uh, leaf printer. Prince and collects basic leaves. Leaf printer. Where does it go? Where does my leaf printer go? Or is it just automatically doing its shit? Oh, it's just auto doing its shit, dude. Bit is just auto doing its shit, dude. Okay. 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 Got it. Tracking. Did? Fuck yeah, did. Uh, okay, chat. Feel free to keep asking. Uh, ask me your questions, chat. Any questions you want to ask, I will answer them to the best of my ability, and I will answer them honestly. Uh, physics fun time. Thanks for the twenty-one months. Um, Milton, you seem pretty smart. Any idea how to take my younger brother down a peg? He's starting to think he's a genius and needs to know his place. I figured you'd know from firsthand experience. Uh, I find uh, challenging him to a sword fight. Uh, that'll, that'll square him away pretty quick, okay? When you were talking about Fort Worth was when I sent that $3 tip. Oh, I see. Oh, thanks, buddy. Got it. That's where the Joint Reserve Base is. Got it. Uh, so when is Kevin the dog happening? I need to know if I need to start investing now or later. Wait, Kevin the dog? Who's Kevin the dog? Did you know your tongue is never in a comfortable position? My tongue is always in a comfortable position, especially when it's on chat. I said candy for the record because I like my candy. All right. That's all there is to it. All right, we got our serious fucking rake now, dude. Now we're raking up some serious fucking leaves, dude. I'll play with swords. <laughs> uh, cinnamon toast spots. Thanks for the 13 months. I love watching you blow. Maybe we wouldn't have had the kid if you would have sooner. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, have you ever tried lucid dreaming or looked into it at all? 
I actually remember, I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit, chat, story time with Milton. So, um, I actually really looked into lucid dreaming a lot uh, when I was, it was before I joined the army. So I was probably between the ages of 20 and 24. And um, there's some different tricks that you can do when you are dreaming to cue yourself in that you're dreaming, sort of like Inception. It's, it's actually true though. For example, if you are dreaming and you try to turn on a light switch, it often will only dim the lights or it will do something that you don't expect, like it'll make them brighter or something like that. You can try looking at your hands because apparently they look like someone else's hands. Shut up, chat. Um, you can um, try looking at a clock and these things will sort of clue your brain in that you're dreaming. And then there's other strategies that you can use. For example, um, have a dream journal beside your bed and um, as soon as you wake up from a dream, write down as many details as you can. This helps your brain, um, like it helps make your, your consciousness starts to differentiate between um, dreaming and not dreaming. And uh, anyway, so, uh, and then like, uh, you know, before you go to bed, you tell yourself at 20 times, I will remember my dreams tonight. I will remember my dreams tonight. And you say it out loud 20 times and then you go to sleep. So I started doing all these different things and I still to this day, remember my dream. This is the dream. I was in my hometown and um, I was walking towards the high school that I went to and looking over the mountains in the horizon, I saw a fucking mushroom cloud going up into the sky. And then off to the mountains to my left, I saw another mushroom cloud going up and realized that North America was under attack from someone who had decided it was time for the end of the world. Uh, and as I got to the school, in the, in the baseball diamond at my school, there appeared to be one like religious leader from each of the major Abrahamic religions. There was like an Imam, there was a rabbi, there was a priest, and they were all arguing about who was going to press the launch button to send nukes back at whoever had sent the nukes at us. And I see them deliberating and I thought it was really weird and uh, didn't want anything to do with it, but suddenly realized that uh, probably my best bet at survival was um, to get in a boat and go somewhere secluded, like Greenland or something like that. And uh, I tried to figure out what can I possibly, what can I possibly use as a currency because money is probably no longer going to matter. And I'm gonna need to convince someone at the beach or at the docks to grant me passage on a boat. And so I walked into a department store and took a, uh, at this point, still not aware that I'm dreaming. I'm still fully in the dream. Um, uh, went into a department store and found box after box of toothpaste and realized that toothpaste would probably be a pretty good currency because no one's gonna give a shit about money, but everyone's gonna give a shit about their teeth. So I take a couple boxes of toothpaste, hoping that that will act as a currency for me. And I head up into the forested area around my town. I'm just sort of circling this town, wondering what to do next. And um, uh, I, uh, as I'm walking around this forest, trying to decide what to do next, um, I get the impression that I'm being followed by somebody like some like, you know, men in black, like some government agency that uh, whatever is not happy that I have toothpaste and I'm walking around in the woods. And as I'm desperately trying to avoid them, I come across uh, this guy who looks like your stereotypical Canadian. He's got like uh, denim jeans, <laughs> um, uh, a red and black plaid jacket, a fur hat, and uh, he was walking with a golden retriever and uh, the golden retriever has an AK-47 in its mouth. It's just carrying an AK-47. And um, as the, they come up to me, the guy's like, hey, what are you doing out here? And I said, well, have you not seen the fucking nuclear bombs that have been going off ever? And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I have been seeing that. And I said, yeah, so I don't really know what the fuck to do, but uh, you know, I figured I had to get away from town. And he said, well, you know, there are people looking for anyone who's not taking part in what's going on in the city. So you should probably keep yourself safe. 
and the golden retriever walks up to me and drops the AK-47 on the ground. And I look at the dog and I say, oh, thanks. And the dog in this really low voice goes, no problem. And as soon as it did it, I went, oh, fuck, I'm dreaming because dogs don't talk. So if that dog went, no problem, I was like, then I'm, I must be fucking dreaming. So if I'm dreaming, then I should be able to fly. And I tried to fly right there. I tried to jump up and fly and I couldn't. So I went, oh, okay, I guess I'm not dreaming. And I just went right back into dream mode and I woke up and had pissed all over myself. Great. That was my, that was my experience with lucid dreaming. I got handed an AK-47 by a talking golden retriever in the woods Thought I was dreaming, tried to fly, and couldn't fly, so I decided I must not actually be dreaming, and then I woke up and I pissed all over myself. So, yeah, I've, uh, I have indeed, um, tried lucid dreaming, and, uh, the, uh, the consequence was pissing all over myself. That was a fun story to join in midway through. <laughs> this sounds like the new best follow game plotline. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, take that. I'll take that. Take that. Thank you. And, uh, oh yeah, we're already making this baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. Quite the wet dream you had there. Yeah, it was not what I was expecting, dude. What are your thoughts on sacred geometry and its origins in the human experience? Um... Okay, so uh, I know a guy, chat. I know a guy. Uh, his name is, uh, his name is Dil. Oh my gosh, little freaking Seaha. Toxic little Seaha. <laughs> Damn it, tiny hands raid. This is not a tiny hands raid, okay? This is not. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the channel, one and all. Hello, everybody. Oh, my Lanta. I freaking love Little Seaha. Oh, my God. The double raid and a raid from Torxmath. Torxmath. Hey, Tech. Hey, man. Thank you uh, so much for that massive raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome from Little Seaha. Welcome from TechSmith. Hello, everybody. Great to see you. Thank you so much for the raids. We're raking leaves over here. We've prestiged a couple times in uh, Leaf Blower Revolution, which we are very fortunate to be sponsored to play today. And uh, if you want to get 250 free coins, um, which you can use. So this game has here, I'm gonna show you, hold on, shut up. Everybody shut up, shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna buy an automatic leaf blower and you can see it right here. See where my character is? If you use five coins, you can make your automatic leaf blower have the Milton icon. By going up here to skins and then going all the way to the bottom, it says, yo, Kiki. So, um, feel free to pick this game up. It's absolutely free. It's completely free. And it is, um, uh, it has 95% overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam after 15,000 reviews. It really doesn't matter what a wall of text says, to be honest, Milton. All, all it takes is about three to four lines and Twitch chat starts drooling and grabbing their mouse, highlights the message and it's control Z, control V. They don't even read the message. It could say, if I copy paste this, Milton has big hands and they'd still paste it. Yeah, chat. Uh, 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 uh. Damn right, dude. You should upgrade, bro. Hey, savory pancake. Guess what? You should shut the fuck up. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't ever tell me how to blow. You understand? You don't ever fucking tell me that ever. You want to fucking tell me some shit next time? See yourself out of the channel, okay? <gasps> <laughs> fine, I'll upgrade. Okay, fine. I changed my mind. Okay, I'll upgrade. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fine. I'll get a leaf blower. You're going to get all hardcore here, chat. Jeez. Can't even blow in my own house anymore. <laughs> also, if you have an account, uh, a Humble North account, chat, if you have a Humble North account, you can use the code Milton Loves Blowing for 250 free gems. <laughs> just head on, just Google Humble North 
Leaf Blower Revolution and use the code Milton Loves Blowing for 250 free gems. Not impressed. Not impressed. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a couple more. Oh, Leaf Combo, baby. Leaf Combo, baby. Yes. Oh my god, so many fucking leaves. Oh yes. Okay, now I should have put my fucking hair in a bun or something. Uh, are you planning on doing another UFO stream in the future? I'm planning on doing multiple UFO streams in the future. I want to do my next one pretty soon. I'm going to start synthesizing some of the information that uh, is already out there because there's been some exciting developments, chat. There has been some exciting developments recently. Nothing big. Nothing huge, but uh, there's been some developments, so not. Uh, Punisher, thanks for the 38 months with a message that just says McMilton. Oh, God, don't say McMilton. You're going to summon. Don't make me summon McMilton right in front of Little Seaha and Little Seaha's really nice community. They don't deserve a hey or someone talking about me. <laughs> I'll see you in your dreams. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, chat. Hey, as a side note, if you are not already following Little Siha, you go follow Little Siha now. You understand me? Now. You do it now. As well as my big bop bop TechSmith314. You follow their channels now. And if you don't, I'm not even gonna, I'm, it's not even gonna do anything with me. It's not even gonna have anything to do with me, chat. Don't worry about me. It's gonna be him you're gonna have to deal with. You get it, motherfucker? Oh. <laughs> I've lost my voice from all the screaming I've been doing with Kiki. I gotta settle down, dude. Okay. Roy, Roy E. Okay, Beefy Milkers. <laughs> Just go to twitch.tv slash little seaha or beefymilkers.com for my brother. <laughs> Halloween Pumpkin Queen. Thank you so much for the 52 freaking months. I'm already excited for Halloween. I'm already excited for it. I'm upgrading again to the advanced leaf blower. Wee! What else can I get here? Okay, and here. Uh huh. Uh. Get some more leaf blowers. Blow my leaves, dude. Oh, yeah. Blow those leaves. Um, why do you guys always say tech is the older Bob Bob when you're clearly much older? Older, taller, stronger, better, faster. Do it. Makes us work it. Beep it. What is Fossabot saying? The average woman consumes six pounds of lipstick in her lifetime. The average Milton consumes six pounds of lipstick a year. I like the taste. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, is Butter S79 here? I'm going to tell you something really interesting, chat, but only in the event that Butter S79 is here. If Butter S79 isn't here, then I'm not telling you, and you, I'm, there's nothing you can do to convince me to tell you. Butter S79, you here? Uh, Lenny Peps. How you doing, Lenny Peps? <laughs> You're looking all sorts of good. You like my hair? Like my hairstyle? Damn it. It's gonna look, it's gonna look better. It's gonna look better when it's, I, when I can braid it, okay? Hi, I'm Butter S79, this is my alt. No, it's not. Okay. My hair's nice and shiny because I haven't washed it for a couple of years. There. Get my hand sweat into my hair to make it slick back. There, much better. Uh, Kate Cat Break, how you doing? Thanks for the 14 months. Hey, I'm new here. This game looks like a lot of fun. It's so addicting. We've been playing it for two hours and five minutes, and I am so hooked, man. It's just so much fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast. <laughs> Emo McMilton when? Get away from me, dude. <laughs> Big body boss. Stop. You're going to make... Hey, was someone talking about me again? Oh, just look at my two sets of eyebrows. Oh. <laughs> okay. Number three, Milton. No one knows how to handle a big cock like Milton. What is this?
No one knows how to handle a big cock like Milton T. Pike one. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Chris, Jay, get your gawkers out of here, okay? Not appropriate. Uh-uh. You said it can't deny it now. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Speaking of knowing how to handle a big cock, if you want 250 free gems, just enter the code Milton Loves Blowing to get 250 free gems for Leaf Blower Revolution chat. <laughs> <laughs> um see hi thanks for the 33 freaking months by the way oh wait chat are you ready for this little see ha said and i quote this stream blows me away <laughs> wait no sorry i have to finish the fucking message chat it says and i quote this stream blows me away into a different stream what the fuck see ha what the fuck what the fuck that's rude that's not appropriate no that's not nice what the hell <laughs> <laughs> Chad, don't fucking laugh at that. You're supposed to D colon. Why would you not D colon on my behalf, chat? How is that accept? That's not acceptable. Not acceptable. Not okay. It's not okay, chat. Nope. Nopers. No. <laughs> Self friend, thanks for the 10 months. I like McMilton better than, reg than the regular Milton. I feel like this year for Halloween, I should fully commit to a full McMilton cosplay. What do you think? What do you think, chat? Should I commit to a full McMilton cosplay for a Halloween stream this year? Okay, remind me. Re remind me when we get closer to October and we'll do it. I'll commit. I'll fucking commit. Um, okay. Now. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, we're racking in leaves like nobody's business, bro. <laughs> it ain't even funny. <laughs> yes, and incredibly cursed. One of the things that I wanna do sometime soon, I'm not gonna put a time limit on it because anytime I do that, I never meet it, but, or uh, put a, t a timeline on it. Did I say that? A timeline on it, because I every time I do, I never adhere to it. I do want to redon the Spider-Man costume, which still hasn't been washed, uh, and do Spider-Man Morales. We're gonna have to do another long haul Spider-Man Morales uh, stream. Beat that sucker all in one go. <laughs> what? See, ha? Huh? It's right there. Do you want me to go get it? DLC? Do the DLC sucks. Okay, the DLC is bullshit. Don't forget you're gonna do a don't forget you're gonna do a McMilton cosplay stream. Okay, dude. Listen. See ha, have you ever told me hold on. See ha, have you ever heard me tell the story of my friend and roommate who um was a driver of a light armored he was so he was a driver of this vehicle right here. Um did I ever tell you that story? See, huh? No, what is the story? Okay, so this is important. This is important and I can show you, I can actually show you what I mean now. So this, this is where the driver sits. Now, normally there's no windscreen here. It's just a hatch that opens up. This is, this is a, with a different arrangement. Normally it's just a metal thing that clanks down, but keep, keep this picture in mind, okay? So, my, f this is, you think it's gross that I wouldn't wash a Spider-Man outfit. I'm going to tell you a story about the depths of depravity that some men will go to. So I was in the army and my friend and roommate, great guy, such a good dude. I, I, I honestly love the guy. He's, he's a great dude and uh, I really wish him the best. But uh, of all of his redeeming qualities, I would just, not exactly say that he is um 
the cleanest. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we go out to do a two week field uh, exercise at one point. And the thing about drivers of LAVs is that uh, they're notorious for like never leaving the driver's compartment. Cause, uh, and it makes sense when you're in a combat situation, drivers need to be always ready to rock and roll. They gotta be ready to uh, go at a moment's notice and they gotta be ready to drive and blah, blah, blah. Which means uh, the rest of us, because I was a heavy machine gunner, I'm always getting out of the back, getting in, getting out of the back, getting back in. Uh, he just stays in the driver's seat. So everyone starts out as a driver thinking, oh, I'm not, I'm going to be clean. I'm going to be a, a fastidious, clean driver. And, you know, it's going to be the whole body temple thing and all the rest. And it always changes because they realize after a day or two that they actually don't mind staying in their driver's seat the entire time because it's sort of like a, a lawn chair. You're reclined and your, your legs go straight out in front of you. So it's a very comfortable seat. Um, and so they start doing everything in their driver's seat. They take their meals in their driver's seat. They sleep in their driver's seat. They take their breaks in their driver's seat, but sort of like dragon sickness in The Hobbit, it starts to get darker and more fucked up as time goes on because eventually they don't even like the hassle of getting out of the driver's seat to take a piss. And when I say they do everything, Siha, yes. I know exactly what you're referring to. Yes. Yeah. Especially my roommate, because my roommate at the time was on a massive cycle of um, Anavar and uh, testosterone propionate, because uh, the, the there was the ex there was a common expression in my unit that no one was allowed to go on a tour unless they'd done a cycle of steroids, and one of the things that anabolic steroids do to a guy is really fuck with his uh, libido, and my roommate was cranking his pepperoni like it was a fucking crank operated vehicle and he had to start the engine every 20 minutes to make sure it was still operational. Uh, so yeah, they do everything in the driver's seat, everything. So, um, uh, and then they eventually don't even want to get out of the driver's seat to take a piss. So, um, they usually bring a gallon milk jug and use that to piss into. Or if they're uh, if they didn't plan ahead properly, the, they'll usually bum a Gatorade bottle off of somebody and they'll start peeing into a Gatorade bottle. And then once a day, they'll empty it out the side of the driver's hatch. Well, my roommate, God bless him, such a good dude, didn't have a gallon jug, didn't have a Gatorade bottle, didn't want to bother asking anyone for one. So instead, he started using the plastic Safeway bag that he'd used to pack his lunch on his first day. And uh, we were there for a two week exercise. So on I think day 10, I still remember this moment. I'm sitting there on a little grassy hill and the boxed lunches that we had had a small square of carrot cake. And I'm eating this carrot cake and I hear this as the gases escape, as my friend opens up the driver hatch in the lav. And he stands up and uh, 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 stretches a bit. Now he gets up and he reaches into the driver's compartment and he's like straining uh, uh, to lift by the handles, this Safeway bag that is filled with gallons of piss so rancid that it looks like iced tea. It's like dark brown, fetid, fermenting piss that had been sitting there in a fucking 90 degree <laughs> driver's compartment for 10 days. And then, and this is, this is the best part chat. The lav here comes with a number of upgrades designed to protect its crew. One of the advancement that the LAV 6.0 has is this device right here, right at the tip of my finger. 
that's called the wire cutter because uh, when we'd be driving through barbed wire fences, if you don't have anything to stop a wire, it'll just go straight into the hatch and cut the driver's head off. Well, my friend who'd waited so long to get rid of this bag, like a like a Olympic, whatever that throw in the thing is, tries to swing the bag around to throw to like pour it out of the side of the lav and it gets caught on the end of the wire cutter as he's swinging it and boosh blows up in his face and into his driver's hat. You could, I could smell it from 60 feet away. I could smell it. He immediately started throwing up all over himself after filling his driver's compartment with like two gallons of iced tea colored urine. <laughs> so in light of that, simply having a Spider-Man costume that hasn't been washed for a year isn't that bad, you know? It could be worse, see huh? <laughs> I'm not the bad guy here. My friend is, okay? <laughs> Every time you ask me if I want to hear an army story, I always regret it. <laughs> Listen, okay? It's enlightening. You're welcome. <laughs> Just curious how you're gonna play the guitar with those hands. Maybe just settle for a children's ukulele. What? How are you gonna get a job with a children's brain? Boom. Get dabbed on. Oh, I gotta get rid of the photo. There. Uh, yeah, it certainly will be enlightening in therapy. <laughs> Dude, it's so toxic, man. Okay. Um. Bye. Bye. Mm. Okay. Golden apples. Uh, platinum apples. Apples. And here we're going to go buy the max. Yeah, baby. Buy max. Buy max. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. The fuck yeah, dude. Uh, what's a game that you really enjoyed streaming that didn't do as well with viewership numbers for whatever reason? Hmm. You know, to be so to be totally blunt with you, Credulous, I haven't con overly concerned myself with viewership numbers for quite a while. Now I mostly just play sort of what I think is going to be fun, and I, I I think that at least a few of us will be able to hang out and uh, enjoy. But the last time that I was paying very close attention to my viewership numbers, I still remember one that um, that I was like blown away by. This was a couple years ago. Now this is probably two and a half two and a half years ago. Um, I was doing a co-op stream uh, playing Portal 2 with TechSmith, and I think I had 85 viewers. I, I thought people would be super down to see a co-op stream with me and Tech playing Portal 2, and I had 85 viewers, and I thought, oh, I guess people don't really want to watch uh, Portal 2. So uh, Portal 2 was one that surprised me. Hey, hello, my sweet cinnamon roll. How are you? <laughs> What's up, Danky? How you doing? Hey chat, listen, no need to sag. I'd play it again. I'd play it again, chat. I if if uh if you folks wanted to watch uh Portal 2, I'd play it again with the Bop Bop. Seriously. Um That's a crime. Portal 2 is great. Yeah, I'd play it again, seriously. At that time it made me feel bad in my meow meow because I felt like no one wanted to hang out with me, but now we'll fucking chill, dude. We'll play some Portal 2. I'd be super down. Portal 2 pass. You know, you know what? Telestio, fucking pass on you, motherfucker. All right, I shouldn't have said that. I got a little angry. I'll let my emotions get the better of me, okay? I let my emotions get the better of me and I didn't mean it, okay? I take it back, Telestio. Oh, don't you decolon in me. Just curious how you're going to do the quad eyebrows. It completes the outfit. Shut up, Neural Johnson. I'll do my McMilton cosplay however I want. I don't need your input. I need you to ask how I'm going to do the quad eyebrows, Neural Johnson. <laughs> I can't help that McMilton has four eyebrows, okay? I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. We're going to go by Max. Yeah, there we go, baby. Fuck yeah. 
Okay, uh, buying a house is a scary and lengthy process, but I'm super excited. Uh, wait, Danky, hold on. Are you buying a house, Danky? Just bought a house, so I've been super busy. Danky. Oh my God. That's amazing. Fuck yes about buying a house. Yeah, it is, it is quite a process. As a pretty new homeowner, yeah. It's quite the process, isn't it? With Obi-Wan Commander? Oh my God, it's so cute. What? Just curious how you're gonna do a McMilton cosplay stream. Neural Johnson, fuck off about the cosplay stream. Very excited, but like, oh fuck. Yeah, I get that, dude. <laughs> Halsey says, oh, no longer caring about viewer numbers? Good. If it's just about fun, that probably means we'll be playing Lego Island 2 soon. It's a 2001 game where you play as Pe Pepperoni, the son of, of a pizza shop owner. You deliver pizza on your skateboard. When you deliver pizza to the Brickstar, the Brickster in prison, it is so spicy. The Brickster starts breathing fire, melts the prison bars and escapes. So now you have to catch him by chasing him through Lego worlds and throwing pizza at him. Hashtag deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a strong sell. I mean, that sounds pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll see. Stop embarrassing me. What? I think that sounds like a strong sell, dude. That sounds like a pretty pog game, in my opinion. So, anyone who's uh, just joining us, we are doing an Ask Milton Anything stream. So uh, if you have any questions that you've wanted to know the answer to about me, about life, about the cosmos, ask away because for this stream and this stream only, I will answer completely honestly, no matter the question. Uh, okay, we'll get some more leaf marketing, get some more fertilizer, buy some nuclear fuel get a super blower dude i can't wait to fucking blow baby airplane turbines yep yes please yes ma'am we'll buy some more of that too uh okay uh we were telling awful and funny x stories on stream today do you have any to tell that are funny now uh i'll tell you the one that that i always tell because god my my i Siha, I <laughs> I know that Siha has been unfortunate enough to, to have some very fucked up experiences with exes too, but uh, my I've I've had very few. Uh, I know this I know this is gonna surprise you, chat, but I have not had very m many romantic partners in my life. I know that's gonna shock a lot of you. A lot of you probably just thought Milton University days, just you know, just a real social butterfly, but no. Um, I've pretty much only really had uh, two, two girlfriends. I hesitate to even use the word because the last one was a girl, but she was definitely not my friend. Uh, anyways, she was super fucked, really fucked in the head. Um, but now looking back, there are some moments that I can, uh, that I can laugh at. Her thing, I, I wonder if she had histrionic personality disorder, which is sort of like an in the same neighborhood as narcissism. And I think it was probably from trauma. I think that she had a pretty fucked up life growing up, but man, did she take it out on me? So, um, I was always terrified to ask her any questions because she would always make me sound like I was a complete dumbass for asking her a question. And, uh, uh, but I, I, I finally had to break my, my vow of never asking her a question when, uh, one of her little quirks finally drove me fucking crazy and what it was was she always told me that uh she was allergic to gluten and i would say okay uh and i just would sort of go with it and uh the thing that sucked was that she was not nice about it she would always be really aggressive if i was cooking or if we were going somewhere she was always really shitty about whether or not anything was going to contain gluten and um this became an increasingly annoying uh, phenomenon throughout the duration of our relationship. And uh, it was really starting to rub me the wrong way because um, at this point in our relationship, I was doing all of her shopping for her um, because she was like 31 and didn't have a driver's license. And uh, so I would, after I was done driving four and a half hours from my base to visit her, I'd stop at a grocery store and I'd get her groceries. And she'd be really shitty about whether or not I got anything that had gluten in it. And so one day we were at a seafood restaurant and um, she was looking at an, um, 
a menu, a menu item and didn't know whether or not the gravy for the menu item had uh, gluten in it. And so she calls the waiter over and she was not pleasant to service staff. And she was like, uh, yeah, hi, uh, excuse me. Um, does the gravy have gluten in it? And the guy was like, I, uh, I don't think so. I can check. And she's like, well, that's something that you should know. And he's like, I'm getting paid $13 an hour to be a server for fuck's sake. Can you not give me shit about whether or not there's gluten in the fucking gravy? And she's like, yeah, you're gonna have to go find out if there's gluten in the gravy. So finally I, I was like, I, I gotta know. I, ha I have to know. And I was like, so just out of curiosity, like, are you celiac? Like what happens? What happens when you have gluten? And how did you find out that um, you, you're allergic to gluten? She was like, oh yeah, well, one time I ate like two dozen cookies back to back and I felt like really fatigued afterwards. So I just knew that I was allergic to gluten. I was like, what? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I just like, I just like ate a bunch of cookies, but I felt like so fatigued afterwards that I was like, I'm definitely allergic to gluten. And I was like, that's <laughs> not God. <laughs> I just remember not engaging. I was like, oh yeah, that's really tough. I, I, you know, I wish you the best of luck in your struggles. <laughs> so I've never forgotten that. Oh yeah. One time I just ate like half a dozen donuts in five minutes and I like, I felt like bloated and kind of fatigued afterwards. So I just realized I'm allergic to gluten and I was like, yeah, that's, that's what that means. <laughs> Understandable, have a great day. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh my God. <laughs> I was swallowing bong hits instead of inhaling them for a few months and I thought I was celiac. How were you swallowing bong hits? That sounds horrible. Oh my God, that sounds fucking awful. What is this thing? We're getting this thing. Should we get it? We're getting it. Leaf powered leaf blower, a leaf blower powered with leaves, full circle. <laughs> my cat's watching the leaf blower going back and forth on the screen. Thanks for giving him some entertainment. Oh, 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 where's it? Oh, get it. Oh, where'd it go? Ha, oh, oh, get it. Ah, ah. <laughs> um, he was drinking the bong juice. Ew, man. Gross, dude. It's one of Kiki's favorite compliments. Yes, I would suck in one of your farts and hold it like a bong hit. Kiki would swallow one of Alex <laughs> Casterman's farts. One of my exes. Oh yeah, what is, tell me one of your stories, Siha. One of my exes would get mad at me for saying video game characters were hot and equated it to cheating. That's called a rather pressing insecurity issue. Yeesh, man. What the fuck, dude? That's fucked. <laughs> Every single time you nearly crapped yourself, what are you asking me, Neural Johnson? You're not even asking me a question. What do you want? Okay. Yeah, more leaves. Give me more, baby. Um, I can't believe you're cheating on me with Kiki from the no pixel server. Yeah, right. <laughs> Avery, listen, we have been over this. I've told you again and again and again. I don't like it when you say Kiki is hot. It makes me insecure. How am I supposed to measure up to Kiki? She owns a business. She drives her own car. Stop calling her hot. I don't appreciate it. It makes me uncomfortable. I can't compete. <laughs> also, another time I was uh, going with my ex to buy a car. And when the credit check came back, they were like, excuse me, sir. There's unpaid child support on your record. I did not know that he had a child. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> What? Oh my God. I, ooh. Yee. Well, how did you respond? Were you like, oh no, sweetheart. What? That's so weird and random. How'd that happen? Well, oopsie poopsie. We were together for two weeks, for years at that point. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that's so fucked, man. Oh, yikes. 
Were you dating my dad? Don't answer that, because I don't want to know if the answer is yes. <laughs> he was a winner. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's funny that you say that. Damn it. Damn it, dad, again. Great. Time to add another notch to the number of women that my dad is disappointed. Excellent. <laughs> When you were talking about your histrionic ex, it sounded like my mom. Oh my God, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's so fucking weird, dude. Fuck. Hey, uh, O-Space, thanks for gifting a three month resub to Milton Fart Now, all in capital letters. Betty ate all the fully, loaded, fully loaded nachos too. Gross, fully loaded nachos are gross. Like olives and shit on there. Record scratch. I bet you're wondering how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I was to prestige, what would I get? Let's see. 299. 299. Nah. Nah. Fruit fertilizer. Fruits contain more fruit. Higher fruit rewards. Okay, that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna upgrade next time. More fruits. One time, uh, a guy said I had word vomit on a date. I was talking a lot because he wouldn't. And when I left the date, he asked when he'd see me again. And I was like, no. <laughs> hey, I need to go consume, consume nutrition, but I've enjoyed my time. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for that massive raid, Siha. Chat, it's little Siha. Put your freaking pogs and claps and chat for little Siha. A wonderful friend of mine, a great friend of the channel, a great content creator. Please clap <laughs> and make sure you're following Little Siha. Little Siha is an incredible, incredible, incredible content creator. It's impossible to go to a Siha stream and leave without a smile on your face. Just so positive, so wonderful, so much fun, happy, po optimistic energy. Man, it's just like a vacation for your brain. Uh, see how I hope you have a fantastic day. Let's play something sometime soon. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Hey, Big Body Boss, and thanks for the uh, eight month resub, by the way. Lizzie G, thanks for the 15 months. Milton, you always keep the laughs coming, and it's an honor. It's an honor to sub to such an awesome guy. Well, that was freaking nice. Thanks, Lizzie G. Appreciate you. Thanks for the 15 months. Holy moly, 412. Thanks for the 13 months, dude. Kaleth the Red, thank you for the 200 biddies. And Adis, 4031, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, chat, just a quick reminder. So we're playing a sponsored segment for Leaf Blower Revolution. You can pick it up on Steam. It has over 15,000 reviews and a 95% overwhelmingly positive rating. So if you're looking for a super chill game to play in your off time, check out Leaf Blower Revolution. And if you have a Humble North account, you can use the code Milton Loves Blowing to get 250 coins for free. If you see where my cursor is up here, those coins, you can spend them on things like, oh, increase your leaf reward by plus 750% for all leaves, baby. Increased offline rewards, all kinds of shit like that, chat. Um, so highly recommend you can, uh, you can upgrade your shit like there is no tomorrow, okay? Milton loves what? Not blowing. What I'm doing right now, Danky Casey, I'm blowing leaves. I love blowing. Chat, get your gawkers out of here, okay? Get your gawkers out of here, Danky. If you don't get your... Listen, Danky, if you don't stop giving me shit, I'm not even going to be the one that's going to get mad at you. It's going to be someone else! <laughs> don't fuck with me, motherfucker! <laughs> my protector my protector all right how are we doing here how are we looking <clears throat> um, -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. nice oh yeah baby j-rock baby what else can i buy from here Okay. Nice. 
Now we're talking. We're gonna have to prestige again pretty quick. And keep upgrading. The leaf printers, great investment idea, chat. Um, would you rather eat a whole jar of mayo or drink a bottle of the lav driver's fermented piss? You know, the fucked up thing is that my knee jerk reaction is to say the piss. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I would be able to down the bottle while plugging my nose and then like rinse it down with some Coke or something like that or a Pepsi, you know, get the taste out of my mouth. But the jar of mayo, there's so much mayo in a jar, dude. Dude, there's so much mayo in the jar. It would just be spoonful, throw up, spoonful, throw up, spoonful, throw up, spoonful, throw up. You know what I mean? I, I, Chad, do not question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark me. Okay, it's immature. It's immature to just question mark, question mark, question mark me. You can drink mayo. No, thanks. No, thank you. The puke thins out the consistency of the mayo, though. This is why, man. Why? Why? God. Okay, we're prestiging again. Hear me out. Mayo rain boots. Ew. Thoughts on the laws of nature being identical everywhere in the universe and making it highly likely that life exists elsewhere. The same elements and chemicals exist millions of light years away from here. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think there's a great chance that, um, I think there's a great chance that, uh, at least, at least in the, you know, nearby universe, like the next 96 billion light years or so, I bet the laws of the universe are fairly consistent. So I think it's, I think it's likely and NASA has recently announced that they're going to start a UFO program and they're taking more seriously the search for extraterrestrial life. So I wouldn't be surprised. I, uh, they, they estimate that there could be thousands of intelligent civilizations just in the Milky Way, just in our galaxy. One of the issues that we need to figure out, um, the, like science suggests that there are likely thousands of other civilizations. The question is, where are they in time? It could be that we're the only civilization at this stage of development anywhere nearby for the next few million years, in which case it might be kind of hard to meet someone else or to get real, like to see another earth somewhere with a civilization because they might be a few hundred thousand years from now or a few million years from now. Maybe there was one a few million years ago and then they petered out or they turned themselves into light and now they exist in a quasi crystalline eight dimensional structure operating through seventh dimensional tesseracts um so yeah it's it's kind of nuts we're the progenitors yeah right um it's weird when you think that some of the oldest planetary systems are billions and billions of years older than the earth that's one of the things that i think is fucking crazy um that's my favorite idea that we're the four, we're like the forerunners from Halo. Like we're some of the first ones, you mean? Universal firsties. <laughs> I don't think we are. I think, uh, I think there's been others. Um, I think it's interesting that the head of the UFO program in the States uh, says that if, so the guy who is the head of the UFO program in the States, his name is Lou Elizondo, has said that if all of the American public knew what he knew and had seen the information he had seen, he was asked, what would the next week look like? And he said, somber. He said, how would people feel if they knew everything that he knew? And uh, his response was somber. And um, when he was sort of asked to expand as to why, he didn't go into a lot of detail, but he said like, humanity likes to often think that we're the main characters, but how would we feel if we found out that we actually aren't the main characters? And what if we found out that occasionally we aren't, we aren't even the main characters on our own planet? So um, I think it's interesting. I think we're gonna be seeing some more information pretty soon. We're NPCs, dude, exactly. The, the thing that I think, so, because sometimes people say like, you know me chat, I read a lot of UFO forums and one of the most constant questions is why don't, why won't they just release the truth? Why won't they just tell us the truth? Just tell us the truth. Um, 
uh, well, you know, what, what do they know about aliens? And then the question becomes, what is an option? What could the truth be about aliens that would make it so that like, that's why the government isn't telling people. And uh, what, what, would it, what could be somber enough that the government wouldn't want to tell people the truth about aliens? And I don't think it's something fucking crazy. Like we're on a prison planet and Gwarthops are harvesting our negative emotions. I don't think it's anything like that. The, one of the theories that I like to, to, toy, to toy with is what if the truth is that there is a hyper-intelligent civilization operating out of our oceans and there are other civilizations showing up to interact with them and just ignoring us. That's why we'll see them occasionally. You know, we get the odd clip of a UFO here and there. It's why they don't remain completely invisible. And it's also why they haven't introduced themselves or anything is because they don't care. It would be like a couple of tribes of humans meeting up in a rainforest and, uh, you know, rhesus monkeys hanging out in the trees and watching them. The humans don't care to introduce themselves to the rhesus monkeys, and they also don't care if the rhesus monkeys see them or not. They're just interacting amongst themselves and ignoring the monkeys altogether. What if we're the monkeys and there's aliens interacting on our planet and they just don't care that we're here and they're just interacting with each other? We're just ants. Yeah, they're just, we're just not intelligent or advanced enough for them to give a shit about. So they're just talking to each other. We're the really dumb third wheel in the relationship. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's probably, I mean, who knows, dude? You've talked about this before. It's fascinating. Yeah, that's one that I think uh, what could explain, um, uh, you know, uh, why the government wouldn't want to tell people because people would not respond to that well. People would not handle it well if they found out that aliens are interacting with each other in our oceans and ignoring us completely. I don't think people would be like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Uh-uh. Okay. Oh yes. Now we're gonna upgrade those fruit trees. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love the descriptions on this game. Automatic leaf blowers love fruits. Automatic leaf blowers can collect fruits for you now. Should they also do your tax report? <laughs> no. No. Um, okay. We'll do that. And then what else can I buy here? Oh yeah, baby. And we will also buy some more prestige coins. Okay. Increases printed leaves by a hundred P. I'll do that. Sure. That's a good mix. Got it. And we'll upgrade our ship. Can't get, uh, we need 10K for that. Okay, so we'll buy this instead. There we go, now we're talking. And we need some multipliers, combo, bing bong boom. All right, now we're making some serious fucking leaf money, dude. Hey, Danky, see you later. Bye, friends. I love you all. Mwah, except Milton. Okay, okay, dude. Okay. Hey, guess what? Why don't you find an off and fuck it? Oh, get double dab. You got the double dab, dude. <laughs> get absolutely fucking roasted, bro. Yeah, I meant it too, chat. Okay. Curious thought about us being ants to other aliens also brings up the thought about if they could step on us like we could ants. I know, right? Like... That's, that's the thing is, uh, would you, if <laughs> it's, it's creepy because, uh, how much smarter would you say humans are compared to ants? A uh, hundred times, a thousand times. How much smarter are we? Do you think if you had to estimate how much smarter are we than ants twice as smart, half as smart. Anyways, let's say that we're a hundred times smarter than ants. Um, do you, do, would you feel bad chat? If you were a multi-gajillionaire 
and you were going to build a skyscraper, even if it was like a skyscraper that was going to be like a multi-unit hospital, would you consider it evil to build over top of uh, an ant's, um, an ant hill if it meant that all the ants were going to be displaced and probably die? You probably wouldn't, you probably wouldn't think it was evil. You simply have the motivations of a higher intelligence, your own, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. And this is where the land is available and yada, yada, yada. You wouldn't feel like you were doing an evil thing by building it over an anthill. So if aliens are a hundred times smarter than us, would they feel like it was an evil thing to pave over us? What did Neural Johnson say? Stop the puke noises. It makes me extremely aroused. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about there, Neural Johnson? This man's just streaming an idle game. Yeah, fuck yeah, I am. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Huh? What the fuck are you doing? Jesse Audrey Myers? Huh? What the fuck are you doing with your life, motherfucker? I'm blowing here. You're watching, you're watching, uh, you're watching Milton Blow. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> it may not be about how smart it is likely about knowledge. Think about our technology and knowledge now versus the uh, early 1900s. True enough, dude. We just sit and watch someone steal our sun to fuel their colony ship. Yeah, right. The sun just eventually goes dim one day completely. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Number one blower on Twitch. That's my, that's my claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking funny. Ooh, golden apples. Ooh, an apple. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. oh, oh my. Okay. This game is uh, is very. I'm like hooked on this fucking game, man. It's just a lot of fun, Chad. It's unironically a lot of fun. Blow for me, baby. Oh, uh, rage quitter. Thanks for the 15 months. Did you hear about the Italian, uh, the Italian chef that died? He passed away. Kerfuffles, 61 months kerfuff. How fucking insane is that? Thank you so much for coming back for 61 farkin months, dude. Donnie Darks, how you doing? I like the part when you start blowing. I thought I thought that would be your favorite part. I thought you'd like that part. <laughs> Still live? Well, I'm hooked on blowing, dude. I can't stop blowing. I'm just blowing and blowing and blowing, man. Uh, platinum leaves. Yeah. I do like the printer shop. What is the conversion? Converts 100 leaves to one gold leaf. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheese converter. Converts 5k borbs to one cheese. Converts 500 cheese to one beer. Oh. Fucking dude, there's so much to do in this game. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Blowing makes Milton feel good. <laughs> I put in your code and I don't see your logo for the auto leaf blowers. Oh, really? Fat D crab. So you go up here to the skins and then you scroll down, scrolling, 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 scrolling all the way down to the bottom here. And you don't see it there. You don't see, uh, you don't see the melty one there. Should be there. Milton sure does love, love eggplant. No, I don't love eggplant. I love blowing leaves, okay? I love blowing leaves. There's a difference. Oh, we almost have enough. Hold on. We're going to convert. I'm going to do it. Start. Is it doing it? It is doing it. Good. That's what it should be doing. Okay, so now we're gonna get platinum leaves from Purchase. Okay. Uh, if you could wipe out one species on Earth today, what would it be? Humans? No, I'm kidding. Uh, mosquitoes. I know that they're an important part of uh, the ecosystem. I don't give a shit. I hate them more than I care about the ecosystem. Fuck mosquitoes, dude. 
<laughs> hey, XOXO, beautify. Thank you for the 12 months. I finally got to catch you live in a long time. Thank you, Milton, for your upbeat and positive attitude. Love you, a resident lurker. Hey, shout out to all the lurkers and jerkers out there. If you're lurking and jerking right now, we love our lurkers and jerkers here. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. Yep, that's all good. And we're gonna buy some apples. And we'll do that. Nice. Now we're talking. We're getting there. Don't call me out like that. I'll call whoever I want out. Ooh, ooh slick back hair, multi. <laughs> I want it to be longer already. I want it to be long enough to comfortably put in a ponytail so it can just fuck off behind my head until I'm done with it. Claire Blue, thanks for the 19 months. How you doing, Claire Blue? Jay Boondock, 26 months, my friend. Great to see you, dude. Suck me, mosquito. <laughs> uh, what would happen if mosquitoes gave you a stamina boost after biting you? Would that be better? Yeah, I'd probably be okay with that. Um, oh, I can do the platinum converter too. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna go somewhere else, actually. We're going to the mountain. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, cute. I don't know why we didn't do this much sooner, chat. Why wouldn't you have encouraged me to do this much sooner? I, I hold you responsible, chat. Oh my God, we should've been going here the whole time. Oh my God, we should've been going here the whole time. Where do we go next? 500 coin? Okay. Whoa, dude. There's so, there's so many zones to unlock, chat. Look how many zones there are to unlock. You never listen? Get away from me. <laughs> I need to unlock the slappy fish. How do I unlock the slappy fish? 2.5 milli. 2.5 milli. Duly noted, mountain is the place to be. I recently found out that I had, uh, oh, you know what, Blobby Kane? You're lucky. I thought it might be a fucking dad joke you were setting me up for, so I stopped reading it halfway through, you cheeky son of a bitch. Nice. Air tur we're turbine, turbine time. All right, there we go. Now it's gonna have to be combos. Combo, 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 combo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, more leaves, more, more. If you could scream into any famous bussy, dead or alive, who would it be? Socrates? I'd be curious what his response would be as a philosopher. What would he make of that? What would Socrates think of someone screaming into his bussy? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Is that you screaming into a bussy, Jay? Yo <laughs> Yoko Ono? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Listen, Katy Perry is jealous that she did an incredible cover of a classic song, okay? <laughs> Thoughts on the laws of nature being identical everywhere in the 600s? No one knew if it was moving too fast, huh? Okay, Neural Johnson. Great story, bro. That was real cool, man. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh buy Max. Yep. More, more, more. Give me more. So, anyways, chat. The game you're watching, once again, is Leaf Blower Revolution, made by Humble North. And if you Google Humble North and you go to the website, you can use the code Milton Loves Blowing and you can get 250 free coins. Now spend your coins however you want, of course. But if I had some recommendations, being able to keep all of your purchased tools is a great idea. Increasing your leaf reward by 750% for all leaves is a great idea. And uh, increasing your offline profits is also a great idea. So, um... If you like blowing leaves, chat, pick up the game. 
Leaf Blower Revolution. Very stoked to have had the chance to play this sponsored game. Now, chat, unfortunately, you know what time it is, chat. The blowing has come to an end and we must say our farewells for now. It's not a sad thing. It's not a big deal, okay? Chat, I really appreciate you hanging out. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, chat. There's more exciting streams coming up soon. There's more exciting streams coming up soon. For example, it's been confirmed Thursday, this Thursday at 12 noon, the adventures of Schmaug, Schmiga, Classy Packs, Dispy, uh, Gambledorf, <laughs> and uh, what is it, Timmy or whatever? The Elden Ring co-op playthrough. The full campaign co-op playthrough of Elden Ring with Classy Packs, Dispy, and Momo Thursday at noon. And on Friday, we have another sponsored segment to play um, <sighs> Elder Scrolls Online. Pfft. I was fucked up by Elden Ring. So uh, make sure that you tune in for those streams. They're going to be a lot of fun as well. So we're going to have lots more streams this week. I really appreciate all of you hanging out today. I had a fucking blast. Thank you for keeping me company. Uh, thank you for all of the subs, resubs, gifted subs, lurkers, chatters, followers, viewers, VOD watchers. You are amazing, wonderful people. I've been so fucking thankful to hang out with you today. Had a lot of laughs with Kiki. Had a lot of laughs uh, in uh, and some good chats today, hanging out in, uh, and blowing leaves. So thank you very much for being here. Take very good care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of your day, okay? Try to take some time for yourself to relax if you can. Uh, don't let your brains bully you. And uh, I will see you very soon for the next stream. Okay, chat? Have a wonderful afternoon or evening or whatever time of day it is for you. Feel free to follow me on the socials there, chat. MiltonTPike1.com, Twitter.com slash MiltonTPike1, Discord.gg slash MiltonTPike1, YouTube.com slash C slash MiltonTPike1, and Instagram.com slash MiltonTPike. Take very good care, chat. See you very soon. Smoochies. Mm -hmm.